Hey. Hey. It's me. Tom. Lewis. I'm, not, Le I'm not Lewis. Hello, Commander. Uh, hey. Hey, Commander. Is that, is that what we say? <laughs> That's how we do it, yeah. Something like that. Um, yeah, what's going down? I'm good. Lewis couldn't be here. No. But Tom could. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like hanging around out in the snow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. And we were like... Where is an old hobo? Come Ooh. into the office. I'll come and play some games with you. <laughs> Warm your cockles in front of this PC. Yeah. Oh, man. That's that's what I want. You want warm cockles? Who is it? Do you already have seven hours on this game? No, I just left it running in the background. Do we want my mic closer? I played for about an hour. Hello, people. Oh, so everyone's going to have to be really kind and gentle because there's no Steve today. We have the lovely newly initiated Daff. Oh, the, the Tom Jones of the Yogg's cast, the as Tom people like Jones to call him. Tom Jones of the Yogg's cast, it's very too, true. Unfortunately, uh, his exquisite singing talent does not leave him equipped to run a stream. No. no. <laughs> so, he's had, a, he's had a crash course from Steve, um, but if everything breaks, just say, Oh, daff. Oh, daff. Oh, daff. <laughs> oh, He'll, he'll be fine. It'll be He's great. never done it before. It's his first day, Tom. It's his first day. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, what are we doing? What, what, what's going on? We're playing Into the Breach. Into the Breach. Or, as I like to call it, Pacific Rim Game. <laughs> Pacific Rim <laughs> Game. Wow. <laughs> I was waiting for, like, the pun. Um, I was, too. It didn't come. Uh, there was no pun. Okay. No, I'm I'm excited. Bam. Let's get this up. Let's get this up on the screen. Let's get it on Man, the screen. I'm going to super fucking casual mode this one. So, when I heard, like, I had a roller coaster ride of emotions about this game, Tom. Let me let me a take you on a roller coaster ride. Let Ta me take you on this journey. Okay, I've been queuing up for four hours, right? To get on the on roller the train, coaster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the roller coaster. And let's say, you, no, okay, let's keep the roller coaster metaphor going. I played FTL. I went on the FTL roller coaster. Yeah. And I loved it, and I thought this is my favorite game ever. And then when I heard they were making a new game, I was like, oh my God. And I went up on the roller coaster. And I was <gasps> like, oh my God. FTL 2. FTL 2 <laughs> or another game that's going to be just as good. Yeah. And then, then the screenshots came out. And I was like, oh no, this looks boring. Yeah, yeah. And they plummeted down. And then, um, and then they explained that it was like this predetermined strategy game with no random chance. And yeah. I thought, that sounds like a puzzle game. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, 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 down. And then, um, and then I heard it was good. Yeah, the and other my, day. My, it went clink, 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 clink. And then someone said it was bad. I was like, oh, no! Clink, 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 clink. And then I played it myself. And yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, fired it up the other day when it came out and was like, well, I'll, just, I'll just give it a go. I yeah. don't want to go to bed. I just want to play like a little bit of a game. And... Yeah, then like I don't know, two hours later, was like, oh, I should, uh, I should probably go to, I should probably go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I got really, really super hooked. This this game's great. Um, it's good fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I think I think it's awesome. I'm super into it already. Yeah. Uh, it's it's good. Try it out. Well, Give it a go. if you want to, if you want to buy it. Oh yeah, we've got a thing. We've got a link. There's a link in chat that Daff might make work. Wait for the link, right? And if you if you click on the link, and then buy the game from GOG. You get, we get some of that money instead of Steam. We get it, and you get FTL for free. If you haven't played it, yeah, play FTL as well. Holy shit! You get Into the Breach and FTL for the amount of money that one of them costs. Yeah, try it out. So we're gonna show them, see them how it works. Yeah, um, I think we should continue because I've done the tutorial island like three times. Yeah, but you can new new game it, and you can skip all tutorial stuff. The first island's quite easy. Unless we set it to hard mode. <gasps> yeah, so we're gonna like F do like FTL. Do you want to like alternate doing battles? Yeah, let's go mission alternate missions and that try hard cool. mode because we've we've not tried hard mode yet. Oh god, okay, sure. Oh, I had a really cool pilot. Okay, fine. I'll start again. Once more into the breach. Yeah, Tom. yeah. Um, uh, so I th right. This is the start screen. I can change my squad. We've got three mechs, but I've got three coins to spend on new mech loadouts. Should we buy oh. a new mech loadout? Um. Can I? I'm just gonna yeah, yeah, use the you, mouse. You take control. Uh, Let's buy not buy the ones you already bought. Yeah. So I've got these guys. Um, but there was one, which was I didn't like. Didn't like the sound of smoke, because that sounds a bit tech. Um, Should we save coins for cooler things? 
mass destruction capabilities uh, of harnessing lightning. Lightning mechs. I, I reckon that one. Okay, let's do it. Oh, Blitzkrieg. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely my sort of like my sort of strat. Oh man, okay. Let's see. Uh, what are these boys like? Do we? Oh, we get their oh. colors: the yellow and blue. Or we can go back to the green. Oh, sure. I guess each mech team has its own color, right? Yeah, that makes sense. <gasps> Hook mech, boulder oh. mech, oh. lightning mech. Oh, he's got like lightning whip hands. Oh, like, like um, Whiplash from Iron Man. Yeah, is, was he actually called Whiplash? Yeah. Played by Mickey Rourke. Was yeah. it Mickey Rourke? That might be the worst Marvel film. Oh, like Green Lantern? That's not Marvel. Uh, Fantastic Four. Like Marvel Studios. Oh. Like the Fantastic Four are owned by Marvel, but Fox made them not. Right. Like, you know, basically all the ones that connect to the Avengers. Yeah. I mean, I'm a bit like, eh, on you those now. You don't care about any of them, do you? No, like... <laughs> Iron Man 2, oh, it's no good. People keep saying like, oh no, the new one is good, the good one. It's the best thing since the last one that was good. <laughs> and I was like, eh. You, did you watch Guardians 2 or Thor Ragnarok? They're both up your street. They're both wacky space adventures. I watched Guardians 2 and I, I really didn't rate it. I, but I was like one of the few people, I think. Uh, it felt like I was living in Bonko's world. Because <laughs> right, everyone loved it. Watched the first Guardians and I just didn't get it. I was like, hmm. Don't, don't care for it. The first one was fun. Like, it wasn't amazing, but it was like just a fun space adventure. But like, I, I then rewatched it and was like, you know what? Maybe I was a bit harsh. Maybe I was in a bad mood when I saw it the last time. It's, it's fun. And then watched the second one and was just like, this is a heap of trash. I really wow. thought it was bad. The storyline, the story arc. Well, the story is what they go to, go to planet, planet is man, love dad, hate dad, kill planet. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically. But, like in the first one, you've got like a real kind of sort of like clear cut adventure mm. type thing going on. You know, um, I can't even remember what the fuck it was. Like, um, there was a magic rock. There's a bad guy. He wants to come and smash us. He's bad. Mm. We have to do stuff. We stop the bad guy. But the second one is like, okay, right. So it's sort of hanging around. We're like lost. What happens? I'm I'm gonna argue with the little raccoon for like an hour. We're just gonna <laughs> argue. <laughs> yeah. There's no. We're not doing anything. We're just arguing with each other. So like, oh, there's yeah. this like, oh, there's the thing about fucking energy crystal. All oh, these guys. We're gonna do a little heist. It doesn't really. It doesn't really go anywhere. It isn't a really. Is there a, a thing. heist in that one? Well, they they they're working for the golden people. And they're like, yeah, we uh, stole their golden. That's like, that's like the first crystals. ten minutes or something, isn't it? Yeah, but that is kind of ongoing because they come and attack them, and then oh, uh, the yeah. fucking peacekeepers or the whatever the pirate guys are called. Hmm. Then they just like meet his dad. They're on dad planet, and then dad dad's bad. Bad uh, dad. Uh, then blow up d dad dad planet because it turns out he's got under the planet is like a billion of his son's corpses. Oh, maybe. What we should do is get you to explain films like this, but not say what it is. Oh. And I have to guess the film from your really obscure plot explanation. Okay, it, but it's oh man. Okay, right. I need th this. Sounds this sounds really good. Um, if only there was a way that someone could like donate and get me to explain the plot of a film to you without you seeing. Oh well, I can just not read the donations. Okay. And if if anyone wants to donate the na a film that Tom has to explain the plot of in that rambling fashion. <laughs> yeah, but I think the problem is like, that falls into like the sort of the Venn diagram of, it's a movie that I've seen, mm. and like a movie that I haven't seen. Like, it, like, cause I'm never gonna be able to explain the plot of a movie I've not seen. Oh, you could try. I could <laughs> try, from what I understand about it. Just from the trailer, to be honest, the way trailers are these days. Oh yeah, fuck, you've basically seen it. Um, but also then you'll have to have seen it. And also it needs to be a film that I don't really care about that also has a convoluted plot. If you can think of a film that matches If you can think of things. something, Ben won't read the donation <laughs> and I'll I'll do it and Oh, try sorry, and... I was just really enjoying that explanation of Guardians. It was like, yeah. Uh, anyway, so we got Lightning Mech. Okay, Let's cool. see what he does. He chain lightnings people. Okay, wow. That's, that's cool. Uh, Hook Mech drags. Ooh, that seems dangerous. That's very dangerous. And Boulder Mech. Um, and Boulder Mech throws Boulder. That bounces... Bounces sideways. Oh, so it's just artillery. It's mech. just worse than artillery. No, but it does two damage. Oh, but it does two damage instead of one. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Right. Cool, okay. This is quite different to the, the vanilla loadout. So, hard mode. We're going to do it. Do you want to start or should I? 
Uh, you can you can start. Um, so we, we already have a few donations in, but I think most of these are actually for you. Um, oh, so thanks. Sunken Planets has donated, and they're like, can't wait to see what you've got lined up for the next Lewis and Ben Save the World channel. Name something after me, please. Oh. Uh, uh, can we rename we our can. pilots? Oh, yeah. You're this guy. Sunken Planets. Bam, you're this cool guy who gets uh, more XP per kill. Nice. Good stuff. Uh, then Yorkshire Farmer says, Hey up, lads. <laughs> We're spending all day clearing roads to farms so we can get food lorries to animals. Ready for a good stream. Now that Lewis has been to Australia, could he share uh, with us how he managed to live upside down all that time? Uh, he did come back with really big, bulbous red head. Magneto boots. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think is how it They works. just issued at birth in Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just get given them by default. <laughs> oh, like in... Um, fuck. What movie is it? Face Off. Oh, yeah. That film makes no sense. Remember where they have the Magneto boots <laughs> yeah. in the prison? Um, yeah, holy uh, shit. Uh, yeah, if you want to just like kind of begin... I'll just like smash through okay, some. Okay, so I can start doing some missions. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. We, we, don't, we don't really have a structure. We don't. Um, right, so this my objectives are protect the power coal power plant back here. Okay, that's and cool. And don't let the explodey bug die. Oh, I hate missions that have those. Where you can't kill an enemy. Yeah, although yeah. maybe with uh, Pullmaster 5000, he might be able to help. So Yeah, Pullmaster will go fight that guy. Armored. Oh, he's oh. armored. Oh, Reduces that's all cool. incoming damage by one. Oh, he's perfect to tank the, the do not kill mech. Kill, yeah, kill yeah. Bug. Um, and then Rock Bug, Rock, rock Mech can hang around behind him. Bam, um, bam, bam. Uh, Zargosian donates and says, donating on my phone at oh. minus 10 Danish temperatures. Oh. Uh, because whatever you're playing, Zargosian wants to be on the ground floor. Yeah, yeah, you can, oh, you you can get named this guy. someone. Uh, we'll have to wait. I can't, I can't name mid-mission. Until the next battle. Until the next battle. Oh shit! You've been fucking. I've been okay. So a lot of people probably don't know how this game works. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to um, explain? So it's turn-based strategy. We have three mechs. We have to protect this town. Um, this is our power grid. If this hits zero, we lose the game. That's like our life bar. But this lasts for the whole campaign. Yeah. Like so, if they blow up some buildings, we have two less life for the like the rest of the campaign. Um, the mechs have health, but they regenerate at the end of the mission. But if a mech dies, we salvage the mech, but the pilot dies. Yeah. And that's real bad because your pilots get XP. Yeah, and you want you want XP. Be better pilots is more good. Uh, we have to survive for four turns. Okay, it's not too many. Um, and the way it works is we know exactly what the enemy are going to do. So if we can maneuver them and maneuver ourselves, we can avoid damage. Yeah. This beetle bug is launching an artillery strike on this building. Oh, fuck, man. Scorpio bug is going to hit this building, and this Scorpio bug is going to hit our tank. So we want to shift all these bugs over one, really, ideally. I don't know if that's going to be possible. So bold, how does Boulder make oh, work? He hits people either side. So if you hit like st the scorpion, the other scorpion. That oh, one. Yeah. We don't want to hurt because that's the one we don't want to kill. But does that blast? Like if I move. To how, here. how does it blast? Oh, either side. So that would free up your stabber. Stabber can drive behind those woods and then pull artillery bug. Okay. So I do this. I'm really worried about getting doing too damage to the thing that we're not going to kill. Yeah, but um, otherwise, well, uh, you're you're the commander. I am. Yeah. So you. Uh, I'm not familiar with these this new loadout. Right, this guy just can't do anything helpful. Yeah, just have him just fucking run. So just get him in. Um, Although there's a chance he might have to run back next turn. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Fuck. Okay, let's move him up a bit. There we go. Split the difference. Um, so, oh, shit. Oh, let's do this. Look, here we go. But then I follow him, push him he's going to punch the other building. But this thing's going to... Oh, that didn't free my tank up like I thought it would. No, because it didn't push him. He still stood next to him. Oh. Oh, well, I fucked this up then. Uh, you could reset turn. You're going to get that once per game. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's try that again. Now that I know what all my things do, I can be less of a noob, Anubis. I'm not worried about this thing getting hit. I'm just worried about these assholes. But if you um, do what I, I was want, thinking. I want original squad back. No, we've, we're doing new guys. I don't like new guys. I don't understand them. Okay, um, so what's this actually going to do? It's not going to save those buildings or those buildings. 
It's not going to help at all, Tom. No, it, it will. Because it will free up Arrow Guy, who can then drive and pull Beetle Boy over one. Oh, right. Okay. 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 We'll, listen. we'll listen to Tom's madness for now. So now, um, you know, Archer Master. Harpoon Tank. Yeah, the Poon Tank. Poon Tank. Poons him over. And um, that guy. Over here. Yeah. It's kind of like the best best we've got. Yeah. Although it's super bike, so you do two damage. Oh, you only this one. And now Poon Tank's in like the thick of it. Oh, shit. Brain Bug. Oh, Brain Bug. He gives everyone plus one health while he's alive. So is it always the same in the first... Um, first mission? Yeah. Uh, no, this is totally different to my first mission when I last played. No, um, uh, Brain Bug. I know, the, the green ones give everyone oh, plus one health, oh, the okay, red ones shit. make them explosive. Right. Um, Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so what we can do, Poon Tank can drag Beetle to shoot Brain Bug. That's cool. That's quite a cool move. Um, or... <gasps> what else can we do? Uh. We could drag Beetle and then drop a rock on Beetle. Okay. Slamming him into Brain Bug, but then it's kind of the same either way. Well, oh, I mean, what does wait, li wait. Lightning Hands do? Oh, yeah, how does that oh. work? Hover over his thing. Chain Lightning. Can I, like, go here? Wait, oh, wait, um, but if you pull the beetle up, um, so he's next to the scorpion. Yeah. And then he... You will chain lightning through all three of them. Ah, oh, okay. Poon tank, go. And then lightning hands. Oh, look at that. Uh, although it does lightning um, your Light thing, but you've got tank. one armor, so. Yeah. There we go. Okay, brain bug's dead. That guy's gonna burn, but it won't kill him. Maybe Ooh. I rock lobber him? You could rock lobber the, that and guy. And then the scorpion goes in the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which will everyone, kill him. Everyone fucking dies. Splat him, him into the fire. He'll oh. die. Encore! Encore! Huzzah! Dewey. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're doing it now. Now I know what they do. What a loss. Oh, sorry, Dewey. Oh, nice. Okay. okay That's fine. Rock tank's in trouble. Oh, lightning hands is in trouble. Oh, although, um, oh, that's fine because he can he can fucking shank okay, one of those dudes. Here's one of my favorite moves. Poon tank is going to poon flying bug, oh. so he's over this spawn point. That saves lightning hands from getting hit, and when the new enemy spawns, it will deal damage to the bug and then not spawn. Yeah, I love doing that. I was kind of thinking of moving the harpoon tank to there and saving rock lobber, but because uh, rock lobber is only going to take one damage. I don't yeah. want to hit this thing. Yeah, but now um, that tank can't do too much. Oh, I could, oh well, you can throw um, the bug into the rocks there with Rock Lobber Tank. Uh, rock Lobber Tank can't move. Yeah, but he can throw there. And oh, throw... yeah. Let's do that. Smash. Bam. And now he'll... Oh, it actually leaves the rock as well. Ooh. It's interesting. It's exciting. Okay. And then uh, old Lightning Hands goes... Man, on hard mode, a lot harder for, for mission one. Yeah. Nice. Oh, man. I think Lightning Hands is a mech I would use in a mech game. Like, ooh. Oh, man, that's a nice little bit of chain lightning you've got right there. Oh, no, but I don't want to hit him. Yeah, but it won't. Look. Oh, yeah. So what, Lightning Hands just kills both of them? Yeah. Perfect. Now this, and can I just rock him out of the way somehow? If... I want to push him. Oh yeah, you could um, move rock lobber left one, push that boulder maybe if that's how it works. Oh fuck, but it puts a new boulder. Oh no, no, this would work. Yeah. Can I just poon him? No, I can't. There's nowhere to say. I could poon him into the fire, and he but won't die. What if you like? I'm just gonna mouse yeah, mouse yeah. for a second. If he was to come to here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that throws the boulder, pushes the boulder along one with the push thing. Then he can poon him all the way back down here. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't think we can push the boulder. Oh, no, we yeah. can push the boulder. Boulders knocking boulders. Tanks pooning bugs. 
Bam. Ah. You know, when you have one of those missions to not kill something, Poon Tank is really good. Poon Tank is fucking amazing. I fucking love Poon Tank now. <laughs> uh, when I first saw him, I was like, oh man, Poon Tank. He's no damage. Garbage. But. Boom. Woo! GG, boys. Fucking grats. We, didn't, we did lose two civilian buildings, Gee. but we gained one back yeah. for keeping the coal power plant alive. And we didn't um, kill the guy, so we got a point. Yeah, we got, got, got money, money points. The corp is going to pay us. Nice. And look at this. Lightning Hand's got just farmed all the XP for Holy himself. shit. Well, yeah, he killed so many guys. Oh, Poon Tank's not going to get any XP, is he? Oh, he gets one for surviving each game. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to name. Someone else asked for a name, so didn't they? Uh, Zephylopod Zygosium, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, unfortunately he did get Poontank Driver. Yeah, so... Um, has anyone else asked for a name? Uh, maybe. Also, we don't really have many names to give out. No, so, um, so I'm only going to give it to people who specifically ask for it. Okay, but um, after this, once we go through these three, unless well, we start we going We can name the, the mechs as well. Oh, okay, so nice. six. <laughs> I kind of feel like hook mechs should be called Poon Tank. <laughs> yeah, um, you're right. Sorry, one name's taken already. Um, um, Atomic Snow Globes donation and said, looking forward to chill um, and awesome stream with the brain team. Sign me up oh, shit. Uh, to get sent to my hor uh, horrific, brutal death at the hands of something massively overpowered <laughs> uh, with only a stick to defend myself with. So I guess um, Atomic Snow Globe is... Atomic Snow Globe. You can be uh, the rock rock pilot. Uh, Midnight Show uh, 22 is donated and said, Sadly, I was lost in a great base purge of last week before you failed the final mission. Oh, I never sorry, around. Midnight Show. I did my duty. Uh, so we might, um, at the halfway point, after the break, we might go back to... Um, Warhammer. We might, yeah. We'll play this till, till the break, and then maybe we'll. Depending, play we'll see how see how we're feeling, how how people are feeling. So we can save the names that we don't uh, get for Warhammer. So um, uh, whoa, bottle names donated twenty five dollars. Twenty five big Holy ones. Shit. Holy shit, that's a lot of bucks. That's him trying to make up for his dishonorable display last week. Oh. Bottle names was our highest ranked soldier in XCOM, and he went under alien control and murdered what? like half his own team. He's a coward and a traitor. Is he still on the team? Well, we, uh, we we Iron Man failed the final mission, so no. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh shit! Bottle gnome. <laughs> um, yet another gaming fails. Then he says, Ooh. "Hello, beardy boys. Hello. Nice to see you guys are here. It's been a while since me and Ginger Snap have been here, but if there are any spaces for two chumps like us, sign us up. Mm. I might be going to Bristol later on this year on work." Maybe some beers are in order. Ooh, cool. we're, we're always beer boys. Maybe it's a bit warmer as well. Yeah, because Tom uh, has a crippling need to sit outside at all times. Yeah. Um, Which is no good in the snow. <laughs> no. It's, it's kind of exciting, though, with like lots of snow coming down. <laughs> I'm, I'm down with that. Um, so, uh, yet, yet another gaming fail. Oh, yeah. So, um, if we, so all the pilots are named already. So, Lightning Mech is now called... Um, G gaming fail. Gaming fail. Perfect. Gaming fail is piloted by Sunken Planets. Nice. Um, Ooh. Sunken although I feel like maybe we should put Gaming Fail inside Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap. Since they donated together, but it doesn't work now. Poon Tank. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Boulder Mech is called Ginger Snap. Uh, Hermiki's donation says, Hello, Commander and Tom. Hope you're having <laughs> a great day. Have you considered playing the new Stellaris update and expansion better? Um, I have considered, and I haven't had time because I've been playing this. Uh, yeah. Bam. But yeah, I'm always up for more Stellaris. Oh, oh, okay, right. You can't look at these. Oh, bam. okay, they're movie plots now. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, do you want to do there's some movie ones? You do the next mission, and then when I'm doing the next mission after that, you get to do a movie. Sure. Movie game. Okay, right. What are these? Tidal waves. Oh, I like tidal I, waves. I find the tidal wave missions really easy. Um, end the battle with less than four mech damage. That's nice and easy. Defend the satellite launches. That's f fine. Kill at least seven enemies. Sometimes. Like I found, like if you're just busy pushing people, that one's, that can be hard to do. But uh, tidal waves, sure. Start mission. Oh, I like tidal waves. Oh, there's a brain brain bug. <coughs> brain bug beetle boy and um, waspo. Right. I reckon those two as a tag team and him there. That looks good. When I, when I was playing this, instantly. I was straight away just thinking, like, I'm enjoying this so much. 
Mm. I would love to play a tabletop version of this. Yeah, with little mech models. Like it's a lot like um, Monster, King of Monster Apocalypse. Apocalypse. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, like the buildings really remind me of the Monster Apocalypse buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of like quite simple, like little dudes. Um, so, uh, right. Just push him into the sea. Nice, easy save. Yeah, pushing into the sea. Oh no, it's already going to die in the sea. Oh, but it's going to kill a building. Yeah. Mm. Um, or. Hmm. Poontank's not going to do a lot this mission, is it? He could pull fucking Bugma Bugman away. Because I sort of want to kill this guy. Yeah, you don't Just want you don't want the mech to, your mech to get hit. So you could poon poon Waspo away from artillery. Although I. I would want to push the buff monster onto a sp onto a spawn point. Yeah, but I don't I don't think this guy does push. He doesn't push. No, he just kills. Uh, like I could do like that and like lose a building and oh and then I could poon that guy along. Oh yeah. And maybe he'd fall in the water first. Yeah, poon him into the water. And also, is that rock gonna block as well? Oh, oh. yeah, you've dropped, dropped blocked two spawns. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh shit, now this guy gets gets wanged. Um, you can, how many health does that um, flying bug have? Too much. Fuck, and if I hit him, I electrocute my guy. Yeah. This is all, this, this is, is all, all terrible. Wrong. Right, we'll just do the turn one reset again. <laughs> and you go back to like the <laughs> first sort of plan. Okay, no more resets. That's fine. Right, so push that guy, I think, is well, okay. Do you want to move first? Oh. Because then, then that's one less thing to worry about. But he can it? only move in. Well, but if he moves into the water, oh, oh, there's I no way he can move and him and right. hurt myself. Maybe you need to poon him away. Blam. Uh, then you can rock. Yeah. Rock Just rock. like. Just like that. And then just kill kill Brain Bug with Lightning Hands. Yeah. Game and fail. Ridden by Sunken Planets. Boom. Okay. Yeah, I think like that was like the, the first plan that I had, that sort of setup and yeah, I think it's it pretty all solid. works sensibly enough. Also, if there's a lot of ground based guys, oh no, that isn't. Shit. Oh. He attacks two squares at once, does he? Yeah, he's a big boy. See, that's like a boss bug. Oh God, man, this is this is awful. How much health has the boss bug got? Four. Um, so I, I think can the pull thing, boss bug. The thing about the poon tank is you can pull the enemies so that they hit, they attack their friends. Yeah. Like if you, uh, where can there's... poon tank move to? Uh, yeah. We're definitely going to lose a building this turn. I think you need to poon the boss bug so it doesn't kill two buildings. Yeah, that's that's for sure. I could push someone away. He could kill that, and then we lose that place. That makes sense. You don't want to lose the power plant. Yeah. Power or the two buildings in one shot. So he's going to want to come down and lightning him. Otherwise, they're going to get thrown into him and take damage. Yeah. Um, what's going to throw you? Because if um, I fire that to there, oh, I so see. I save the building. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, and he'll kill that guy anyway, so cool. we'll just. Um, so it'll be down? Yeah. Yeah. Blam. Screw you. Uh, right, Poon Tank, you're good. This guy. It doesn't matter if he gets a bit of a bit of water on him. And yeah. Swish. It's probably the yeah, best. I think that's good. It's pretty good. We've got a lot of monsters on the map. Yeah, we're not blocking their spawn at all. But I think Poon Tank's basically gonna keep that boss out of the fight. I hope so. Trusty gunner, Cephalopod Zargosian. Ugh. Oh, maybe he's not. Shit. 
Okay, right. I don't care if you get sh hit once. That's bad. Oh, God. Hard mode's much harder. <laughs> yeah, isn't it just? Um, well, I think you, we always have to deal with the boss, because the boss is like two, two attacks for one. Yeah. And I think the only person who can deal with the boss is the Rock Lover, right? Yeah. If he was to come... But... Wait, right. Poon Tank. Poon Tank can't help a huge amount. So both of them are attacking the same building. Oh, but it's but a double. But it's a two-hit so. building, so they're going to get the value. You don't get a lot of kills in hard mode either, do you? It's more just about pushing the enemies out of the way. And so the only way that we can do this is we, like, rock lobber him. Uh, wait, are we even going to be able to do it? We can't, because we're going to push him into that two. Shit. Can't we push the... What, you mean the boss? Yeah. We can push him, like, sideways, can't we? Um. Which, how does the rock lobber push? But if we go, like, there, it pushes him and it, he ha hits that but stuff. But what if we push him the, the opposite direction? But I can't get into a position where I can push him the opposite direction. I can't get a shot there. Uh, yeah, he can't move. Um, oh Shit. fuck, I think we might be dead. What can you push with the Rock Lopper? He hasn't got a lot of options, has he? Um, <gasps> oh, shit. Oh no, that doesn't work, does it? What? Um. Um, Fuck. Oh, man. If we could... Can you get get that spiky boy out of the way? How, how much health does that scorpion have? This guy. Three. So I can't stop him. But if we can free up this guy... If we could... Move... No, we still lose three build. Oh yeah, fuck. Oh man. We, uh, this is the tr tricky thing about hard. There's no um, you can't get the kills, and they just build up. We have to. This is the last turn of the game. Yeah. Um, so we just need to minimize damage as much as possible. Because I was hoping. Man, if there was a way to do it, if we could have landed the rock in there, pushed him out of holding mode, right? But then that would have smashed that building. Ugh. Um, you can't do it from that side, because then he could come and he could electrocute both of those. But can we? Can Poon Tank get the Scorpion? No, no, he's too far. Like, basically, all the only thing that Poon Tank can save is pulling that guy one yeah. over. Well, let's do that, because that's literally the only thing you can do. Uh, so now we... Oh. Oh, yeah, because he can't save. Can't fire while he's in, underwater. Yeah, so... Oh, wait. We can... Oh, no, that's still... How does the rock work? Like, where does it, which directions does it push? Like, what if we hit the the boss bug now? It it went. Doesn't push, does it? It, it doesn't it push him it? anywhere. We need it to be like one over. But it would be blowing up <laughs> that stuff instead. Yeah. So if we lost both of those, uh, but we can't kill these guys, we're dead, Ben. We're definitely well, we dead. We push one of them out of the way. And then hopefully our fifteen percent resist comes up wow. on one of the buildings. I had one of those, um, like to on like the final mission, like needed to live through that fifteen percent chance, and yeah. they like it landed and was like, the gods have smiled upon us. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Oh, right. I, um, no. I was going to say the rock. We can rock our own building to block the attack of the boss bug. Does that work? Does the rock absorb the attack? 
No, because it just it hits both of the things. Like the spikes uh, will come out okay. and just do two damage to right. both. So I think. Just p push. I'm gonna push that guy. Just because. Yeah. Well, they both do one. Um, and then. Oh, the f well, the fire will kill him. I'll take a damage. Oh shit! And I smash that building anyway. Fuck yeah, we're dead. We're so dead. There's no, like no no way we can stop them this turn. We yeah. beans dead. We beans dead. Well, maybe one of these 15% will come up. Come on! Resist a... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> fuck. No. Dead on mission two? Wow. <laughs> hard is hard, man. We we don't have enough experience. Well, enough skills. 20 oh. minutes. Jesus Christ. We suck. Select one pilot to travel back in time and start again. Who are we going to send back to save the world? Is it going to be sunken planet planets with loads two, of XP? Two XP per kill is fucking good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think. Sunken planets, you're, you're making it back. Do you want to keep same loadout? And do your, we want to turn down to medium? It's your call. It's your call, dude. It's your call. Sunken planet, you're back. Sunken planet, well, So who's he driving? Uh, it's Chiefs. Well, what's the name of his robot? Robot. Well, well, did, his, did his robot even survive? No, no, just him. Oh. Shit, you got sent back in time. So the whole idea is the entire world's been destroyed apart from like this corporation with a time travel thing and mechs. Right. And they're sending you back to try and save the world. Man, that was so brutally hard. I'm not feeling confident about going back in again. Let's give I it believe in you. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Uh, oh, not that, that one. Um, right, there's a battery we need to keep running. Make sure it survives the fight. Oh, we've got rocket artillery. Nice. That's cool. That's that's always fine. Um, uh, Canty has donated. Oh. It says, snow day times two. So yet again, get to catch you wonderful boys. Boom. Hooray. Uh, oh, Yorkshire Farmer's got a suggestion, so no reedy. Oh, okay. Then. No no reedy. Oh, yeah. So you, you, while I try and puzzle this out, you... I'm going to distract you. You're as going much to distract me with a, uh, with a crazy story. So Yorkshire Farmer's donated and they... Uh, so I think this is quite an easy one. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh fuck, actually. So without being like too blatantly obvious, I think because the, the aim of this game is you don't want me to guess what the, the plot is. Okay. <laughs> like the film is, but you have to. Everything you say has to be true. Okay. And it's right. how long can you go before I guess it? Is that the challenge? Because I think I could talk about a lot of random stuff <laughs> out of order that will make that make this film make no sense. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm making this up as I go sure. along. What do you reckon? Okay, right. So there's... Uh, right, so the president, he's really, really inept. <laughs> right. Really, really bad. He's got like a little blonde daughter. Um, yeah. And they fly around in their plane a whole load. Um, there's this... Uh, like this like uh, hick. Hick farmer. Yeah, and he's got a he's got a plane as well. <laughs> okay, is it Independence it Day? It is Independence <laughs> Day. Yeah, yeah, that was too easy. The president's not that inept. He's really good at giving speeches. He's really bad. Every decision he makes in it, and he like dithers and oh, stuff. He does dither a lot, doesn't he? And he just doesn't decide on any course of action until and something that, goes wrong, and that just causes them to like constantly lose. Like oh, he's he's yeah. the worst. Shit, you're right. I never really thought about it like that. Um, okay. I, I'm having a hard time getting used to the angles of rock mech, rock thrower mech. Yeah, it's a bit wacky. So the push mechanics are much harder than the um, uh, the artillery. There we go. Look, rock and lightning nice. and fire Bam. will kill this <gasps> alpha scorpion. So it doesn't do earth, three damage to those buildings. Earth, wind and fire. Oh, literally. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> the elements um, are on our side, boys! Huzzah! Okay, right, I've got a new film for you. Okay. So I kind of think, basically, if you could sum up this film in, like, one line... Yeah. ...or, like, a single thing, it's going to be too easy. Yeah. You need movies with convoluted plots. You basically, like, you need kind of, like, bad films. So, like this one, there's a guy... He looks after a little girl, they kill people. Well, it's Leon. Yeah, yeah, like... That one, thank you, Vidask. That was easy. Leon the Professional. 
Because um, also that's quite like a, a unique and very famous one for that. Yeah. Um, and there's not enough happens in that film that's just kind of like ordinary or confusing. Yeah. It's quite to the point. So, oh, Atomic Snow Globe has given their own version of one. Oh, nice. I was nice. going to read this. Yeah, that sounds cool. So, movie plot. A dad did some stuff in the army. He doesn't like that his daughter is going away. Then she does and gets in trouble. And now the dad has to come and save her and does lots of bad stuff to people. Oh, uh, Taken. Yeah. Uh, Loop Omega has donated. And they say less than three. Thank Aww, you. Less than three. Uh, Kazar 831 wants to be named after something. So you, you're oh, in this... We rename you Poon Tank, because our 831. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because that's what he asked for, right? He wanted to be named after something. Oh, yes. You are... I'll, <laughs> I'll take the name of something. So yes, because our 831 is now officially <laughs> Poon Tank. I have the power, here by the power invested in me by the state of Bristol. I name you Poon Tank. Oh, fucking Poon Tank. <laughs> what a, what a no, guy. Because I will name something after you, because uh, uh, maybe, maybe we can call the Poon Tank, because our 831. You could be honorary Poon Tank this week. Shit, man. Like, Zephyrpod Zagosian did not last long in the Poon Tank. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm. Oh, fuck. Okay, that might be a really good suggestion, but I'm going to have to Google exactly which which movie it is. Um... Oh. Because this is. Tom, some... we're playing on the same PC. Oh, yes. Yeah, You've just ended my turn, and half my <laughs> units haven't moved. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> fuck! Time, time travel your way out of that one. <laughs> um... Have you been sent from the future to. Fuck me up. Yeah, yeah. I'm like a really <laughs> shit Terminator. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've got to stop this guy. We don't we don't want to waste a real Terminator on him. He's not that, that not, powerful. Not that important. Just send someone to kind of fuck him over a bit <laughs> in day-to-day -day life. Irritate Boom. him. Robo Tom, we choose you. And I'm just sat there like, huh? What? <laughs> Why am I now naked? <laughs> what year is this? And, uh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, oh... Fuck it out. Um, oh my god! Wow, I have I have seen this film. I don't remember the plot. Okay, read the Wiki Wikipedia synopsis and <laughs> see how you get on. Okay, right. Uh, uh, okay, right. They say there's a guy, right? And he makes a or like a whiny friend, um, and there's this other guy who wants to like blow up the city, and he he's trying to do it with clowns. He has a big group of clowns, mm -hmm. um, and they they bust around. Uh, also, the guy the guy that's trying to blow up the city. He has this like really sort of like sexy dominatrix like harem member. And like this kind of like sexy like girl dressed as like an angel, and they hang out with him. They're only in like one scene of the film, I think. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you I don't need to tell me stuff like that. But I really remember that part because I remember thinking that was really cool. Um, uh, I could, and then oh. the good guys win. Okay, this must be a superhero movie. Um, because that sounds like a supervillain plan. Yeah, destroy the city. Destroy it's pretty, the city pretty classic. And you know, goofy. Ooh, goofy henchman. There's a place called Claw Island in it, apparently. Ooh. I just well, I had no memory of that. Is it? Is it Batman Returns? It is Batman Returns. Oh no, it's not Batman Returns. Ah. Oh. But you've got a good hint there. <laughs> seeing as <laughs> to one of the Batman for yeah, because I was thinking Batman Returns. You've got Catwoman as like a dominatrix lady, and. There's clowns. There's a clown gang at the start. No, it's not that one. Oh, shit. Um, well, Batman Forever? It's Batman Forever <laughs> with Two-Face. Two, like, oh, Two-Face's yeah. house. Two-Face's house. He's got, like a, he's got the, the good and evil um, harem members, doesn't he? He's got like, yeah, the angel yeah. and the devil. And they, they always have to stand in exactly their sides of the room. Because one's done all lovely and one's done up all... Evil, but I remember right? thinking, like, even at the time... He's because he's got a chair in the middle, and one side's like the fucking Iron Throne, and the other yeah. side is like you know uh, just a, a regular throne, right, yeah. like it's like a nice thing. And when he walks into the room, so he's got his like fucked up faces on the sort of like the the dark side of the room, mm -hmm. and there's a perfect line in it. And then 
you know, his good side of the face is on like the happy side, because that's like the mm -hmm. good part of him. But does he always have to just like walk backwards out of the room? Because he comes into it, because there's a shot oh. of him like walking down the room and it's kind of like all lined up, good side, bad side. Right, but when he's going the other way. It fucks up, so he has, he has to, to like walk around backwards. Uh, <laughs> where's, where's the door? Uh. <laughs> oh, Two Face, you dumb. Also, dumb. how do you live your life, like, just on a coin flip? I guess everything's a bit fifty-fifty. Oh, hey oh. I know. Did you did you ever read The Dice Man? I did not. Do you remember when that was really big? When Every, that was like the hot book? That was the hot book, wasn't it? I didn't read it. I read um, Join Me. Join Me. Yeah, the story of a man who started a cult by accident. Oh. Um, and it was he was inspired by the Dice Man. Um, Is this a true story? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember Dave Gorman? Yes. Are you Dave Gorman? Yes. He had a friend called Danny... Gorman? Wallace? Danny Wallace. Remember, the guy who bet him he couldn't find all the Dave Gorman. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That guy went off and did his own Dave Gorman-esque thing. Right. Where he put an advert in the newspaper saying, join me, question mark? And people did. And they, they, they said, send me a passport-sized photo to this address. And that's how you join. Okay. But no explanation of what they were joining or what the deal was. And he just eventually got like hundreds of people like, joining this mysterious cult. And... Um, and then he started to have meetings and get them together and was like, shit, I need to think of something for these guys to do. Oh, um, what did they do? <laughs> was it like a horrible mass suicide or something? They did the Kool-Aid thing? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jim Jones that? No, fortunately not. That would have been a, a much more exciting story. Eventually he settled on random acts of kindness. If you were in the club, you had to do a random act of kindness. For okay, that's like, nice. It was every like, Friday or something. Every Friday. That's, that's cool. I so like the that. The opposite of the Jim Jones Club. Yeah. Jim Jones Club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what it started as. <laughs> Fuck. Um, then he did a Yes Man book, which was based, which was inspired by the Dice oh, Man. Oh, okay. Where he had, any time anything, an opportunity came up, he had to say yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he did that for a year. I remember yes hearing that. For a year. And he, he made, like, money, and he went on holidays and did loads of But cool then he also stuff. had bad things happen to him. Like, a loads of crazy, amazing things happened. Loads of horrible, bad things happened to him. Yeah. And it was really interesting. Like, even when he got, like, a spam email, he was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's. Oh, fuck. Wow. Um, oh, that must hurt sometimes. When, like, you get one of those sort of, I don't know if they still exist, those, like, Nigerian prince emails. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I, I think he created. I know this is literally. He created fake bank accounts. They're not fake, but just new bank accounts. Oh. To give the details to. Okay, that. Like, to, to firewall himself from the risk. Yeah, yeah, you need a system in place. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, the, the Yes Man book is really interesting. Like, it kind of. Made his life amazing and also ruined parts of his life at the same time. Okay, that's kind of kind of cool. But he he did it when he was after he broke up with his girlfriend. He was like really depressed. He was like, "Oh, what am I even doing? I'm just staying at home, being depressed." Bam! So make a new plan, do a thing. Just do do crazy. And it's because he's a um, he's like a freelance guy, so he gets offered like a lot of gigs and jobs and stuff. Okay, that's um, kind of cool. Yeah, you should read it. Yes, man's a really good book. Bam! I forget how I ended now. Right, chronology mm -hmm. hall. Do chronology. I can't really chat. You made chat go away, Tom. Yeah, I know. I, I clicked on it. I was trying to um, search Batman Forever, but instead I just ended your turn. <laughs> yeah. uh, sure, something like that. Confirm. Deploy. Let's agree. We're rescued. So what, what are you trying to do on this one? Oh, you got airstrikes coming yeah, in. Yeah, boom. That's pretty cool. You're fucked. Man, if airstrikes are just kill everything in that zone, maybe they should fight this war with airplanes. Yeah. Why don't they use more of these fucking bombs. I suppose for uh, Pacific Rim logic. Do you remember oh. every time they attacked the monsters in Pacific Rim with planes? They just fucking crashed into them. <laughs> yeah, they just flew in point blank. Just you gone. idiots. <laughs> just stay much higher. Oh. And you'll be fine. Although I'm not... I'm, I'm actually going to save this guy from the airstrike, but push him into the water. <laughs> um, oh, and then block the spawn point. Nice. And... He's going to attack me. Oh, and he gets shot by him. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, and then the... the oh, um, no, which one's going to strike first, though? If you hover over attack order. No, he's going to shoot that building before his friend kills him. Oh, shit. I did not save. But Poontank um, can take a hit without taking damage. Yeah. He's got that extra armor, hasn't he? Oh. So what, just stand in the way? Yeah, literally just stand in the way. Hey, 
<laughs> hey guys, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? Uh, yeah, he doesn't need to poon anywhere. Blammo. Boom. Donk. Man, that armor is really fucking strong. Mm. If it wasn't for that armor, I don't think Poontank would be any good. Okay, he's threatened. He's spookums. Mm. Oh, if you could set that forest on fire and then Poontank the guy into the fire, that'd be pretty good. Hmm, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Because I could poon him towards me. Like, pull that guy. Yeah, pull him away from the buildings. Because he's a boss, he'll probably do double damage to the buildings, right? Yeah, I don't want that. Blast that, poon tank takes the damage, hit the guy. Although, I could kill him before. Yeah, and then poon tank. Oh, but he takes electro damage from... Ch oh, that's okay. You can take one damage on poon tank. With old electro arms? Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then you can drop a rock. Bonk. And then he'll die in the fire. Perfect. That was all pretty smooth. We've only oh. taken like a little bit of damage on old Serpoons a lot. Oh, they smashed our boulder. <laughs> oh, assholes. Assholes. Fucking military, right? <laughs> uh, oh, we've lost, um, we've lost sound. Um, Daff says it's our fault. Wow. Daff. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't really. Uh, um, hmm. I don't think we've changed it. We did tap out. That Maybe that broke it? Oh, that could be it. That sounds like something we'd do. Thanks, Daff. Um, right. It's okay. We can live without sound. We can make our own sound. <gasps> I'll do the sound effects. So I'll just wait till you do a move, and then I'll, I'll fill it in. Okay, right. I need to. I want to hear these, <laughs> yeah. but I'm not sure what I want to be doing yet. Um, so until the red brain bug is dead, all the enemies will explode on their death. Ooh. Don't forget about that. Yeah. Because that, that's real bad. So we could pull him... Right. He can save people. Ah, oh, Daff, you're a hero. He brought back the sound. Oh, I don't get to make my sound effects I now. Don't hear. You can still do them. Okay. So if clang, like he clang, clang. <laughs> uh, oh, but that guy's fucking tied up. Yeah. Shit. Okay, right, that's fine. I was not. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. Um, oh, oh, we could. Oh, well, we saved one place or the other. But how does... Oh, man, Poontank's not, not going to do anything. Um, but actually, maybe that's fine. So we push that guy there. Donk. Donk. Clang. Uh, that is fine. I thought he was going to be... Oh, because we do two damage, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Well, Poontank can fix himself. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> and um, go, 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 go. <laughs> but it's so much, so much more immersive. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, he'll shoot his friend. He'll shoot a building. Mm -hmm. But fuck, we have to do it. <laughs> Enemy turn. <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God. Devastating. Okay, right. He's going to attack that. He's going to shoot me there. Oh. Oh. Whoa. The power plant. Not, not on my watch. Oh, tying up Poon Tank. Though I could pull that guy away. He blocks that shot, kills him. He then explodes. Oh, that's pretty sweet. But then Poon Tank dies. Is Poon Tank going to die? Because he takes one less damage from each attack. Oh, you're right. Poon him. Uh, Boulder Boy can push him away. Or the other guy away. Yeah, I think this is fine. Right. Okay. Get over here! <laughs> um, oh, he can't actually attack anyone. Why not? Well, he can't reach these guys. Oh, he's too slow. Who I wanted to kill. Mm, that sucks. Mm. 
Well, don't move him yet, then. So he is going to have to go, like, clang, here. Clang, clang. Oh, no. No, no, no. You have Terrible to... play. Here. Well, either way, I mean, he would have hit the airstrike order. No, but, um... Oh, yeah, I guess it's fine. <laughs> How come that guy took damage? Oh, because he exploded when he died. Oh, yeah, because the red bug's still alive. Uh, we lose a single building. Don't think you can stop that. And then this is the last turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I guess at least he should move. Yeah. Clang, 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 clang. Enemy turn. Can you repair other people? Oh, well, give it a try. No, no. Okay. No. I can't take much more of this. Ah! Oh. We did it! Wow, uh, the brain bug like, fucking flew away. <laughs> brain bug away! See ya! <laughs> okay. Oh, we didn't kill seven enemies. It's hard to kill enemies on hard. They have so much more health. Yeah. Yeah, each one having like an extra hit point. Or like the big ones having extra hit points. Mm. Pal, it's over cool. to you. That's my turn. You get to do the sound effects now. Okay. I don't know why I can hear the music and not the sound effects. That's kind of weird, right? Oh, it's Dash oh. putting music in. It's oh. not the game music. Oh, so we do have to put our own sound effects in. Okay. Um. Mm. Uh. Uh. Oh, trains. I like trains. Nice. Ooh, cool. I like trains. Because uh, R has donated and says that uh, they said, I'll take the name of something. Oh, yeah, we. Oh, wait, oh I forgot to name. Oh, you can, you can sorry. Do it. And we did Batman Forever. Ben guessed that. Right, is this. Is there going to be a thing in here? No. Um, the Man of the North. I demand you name something after Eric the Viking to, re recall, to reward his hatred and salt of the game. Oh. Kappa. I love me some Ben and Tom. Uh, yeah, you can you can be uh, Eric the Viking in here. Man. Yeah, apparently he was really salty about how bad we are at the game oh, and uh, left. <laughs> oh God! Wow, <laughs> just the rage quit. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay, this guy needs a pushin. That's a pushin. That's a pushin. Um, because he's gonna kill our train. Can you give him a pulling instead? Uh, well, I want to push him onto the spawn point to reduce enemy spawning. So, how does boulder push again? It's side to side. Side to side. So I need to land a boulder like. Oh, if he could land, if he could be where uh, Poonmaster is, yeah, then he could blast to where he stood right now okay. and push him onto the. Also, can that guy drive? He can pick up the pod if you stop yeah. on there. That's or true. pick up the pod, but I got nothing to poon now. Mm. But the pod's really important. We don't want yeah, the, the yeah. enemies to run over that. Let's get the pod. Pod secured, and then. Yeah. Robot over here. Train's free. Enemy spawn denied. Uh, he could just walk and stab that bug. Oh, look at the, all this chain lightning. Ready for the Oh, effects? shit. That's big, fucking nice. Big value lightning. Yeah. Do it. Fuck. Oh, my God. Chain lightning. Oh, Tom, you're not going to the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then Poontank can fix himself. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Okay. <laughs> boop boop. <laughs> <laughs> how's, how's that sounding? I feel like we're saving the stream. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Threatened. Warning. Warning. Threatened. Player two's turn. Or player's uh, turn. Does lightning hands hurt buildings? I don't think so. It's like if I walk here. Oh, but it hurts trains. Oh, shit. Do not lightning train. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, um, mm. Oh, you could... Um, uh, lightning here. Kill those boys. Oh, well, that's very neat. Yeah. Um, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this. Boom. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, now, Poon Tank, your mech. Right. Just trust me. Just do it, Ben. Yeah. Cool. Now, I move Boulder Boy. Oh, shit. This kills your guys. Fuck it. 
because uh, he can then push the dude into the water. Oh, and um, block the spawn point. It does hurt your boys. It does hurt um, my boys pretty bad. No, no, squashed. But man, that was some fucking killing. Choo -choo. Boop, boop. Uh. Oh. What's happening now? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I think. Well, train's clear, which is good. Um, these guys only do one damage each, so Poon Tank can just get in the way. Wait, uh, can you not just um? What, how much life does that dude have? Three. Three. He only does two with lightning hands. Mm. Boulder Boy's trapped. So can Poon Tank get into a position? Oh, how what if I just throw a tank? rock here and block the shot with the rock? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Boop. Burning rock. And then uh, these guys heal up. Because, oh my god, I don't want either of them to die. Yeah, although... Oh well, yeah, it's the end, it's of the, end of the thing. Yeah, there's no um, no killing to be done. Oh no, the rock burnt to death. <gasps> Fuck! I didn't think rocks would die to fire. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> ah, it's one of those flammable <laughs> rocks. <laughs> oh, I don't goof. Shit. Oh. Um. Well, you can rename some people now. Uh, okay, right. In who's who's first on the rename? So there's Kazar eight three one. Oh, we found pod. The reactor core. Nice. Um. Okay, lightning. Like, he's getting renamed. Kazar. Kazar. 8 3 one. Perfect. Okay. Piloted by Sunken Planets. And then uh, Poon Tank. Who's, who's uh, getting the name of Poon Tank? Eric the Viking. You're in. <laughs> in memory, the Eric the Viking Memorial Mech. <laughs> yeah. He was so salty. He's, he's, he's gone now. Uh, anyone else? Uh, not that I've read so far. Okay. Cool. Um. What, um, I'm just gonna like fucking take the wheel for a second. What are these guys' upgrades? It's like extra health, extra move, that's nice. Ooh, bonus damage on rocks, that's cool. Grappling hook. Oh, shield ally, what does that do? If you an ally, you oh, you can poon your friends for a shield. Oh, that's quite that's nice. pretty cool. But maybe giving him extra health or move, plus three move, because we've got the one we've core. Got one reactor core, yeah. Building chain. Chain through buildings without causing damage. That could be fucking good. Oh, that that does sound Plus good. Plus one damage is nice. Or because he's pure melee. Uh Plus one move. Could be good. It's uh, mm, a tough oh. one. Oh. oh. I'll let you you choose. Um I like the idea of building chain. Yeah, that sounds fun. But we need more damage. The thing is we're not doing enough damage. We're not killing stuff. We're not getting XP. We're just pushing them about so they don't destroy buildings. Yeah. Um, we haven't got enough to actually increase our damage output. Have we? I think maybe getting that guy with like ah fuck it, let's do building. Chain. Why not? All the moves. Well, we're giving it definitely to this guy. Um, yeah, it's Kazar. Well, hey, that's sunken planets. Well, because you can switch this stuff now. Like, oh, that's true. Just try, it try it out. Cool. Go with the move. Okay, you'll go. Okay. Uh, well, do you want to do the things, and then maybe you can try and describe movies to me? Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Old Town. Uh, Flaming Shotgun donated. Thank you very much. He says, hello, commanders. I'm hello. Long-time VOD Squad member. Also wanted to say, Ben, you are fantastic as always. Oh. Always bring a smile to my face and brightness to my day. Hope to see you guys play another series of XCOM 1 soon. Have a lovely day. Oh, yes, what a lovely... Tom sucks, <laughs> and I hate him. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I added that last bit. Oh, my. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> Thank you, Flaming Shotgun. That was lovely. Um, Loop Omega donated $5 and says, Because I was stupid enough to sew while watching the stream, I'm now in the emergency room. <laughs> oh, shit. shit. He was sewing his dick back on after all of our misplays. Nice. Uh, Rufus. Tom, since you love chill building games so much... Oh, no, 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 let me rephrase. Let me say that exact same phrase in another way. Tom, since you love building games so <laughs> wow, much... Wow, I liked it the other way more. <laughs> that, the other way was much nicer. Um, and your videos on them are great. Have you seen or tried Tiny Towns VR? Yeah. Um, you must have a VR set somewhere in the office. Uh, yeah, it's never like properly set up. Is the no, problem. We have to go ask the keeper of the VR set yes. to set it up for us. 
Captain VR, as he's known. He's a shrouded figure who sits in the corner of the office. And you have uh, to answer three riddles before he'll set up the VR for you. Um, yeah, so I've seen it. I do want to give it a go. Um, and I've even, I've even got it. Ooh. I've got it, Ben. Um, but I haven't played it. Oh, Tom. I haven't played it at all. He's going to whip that boy. Yeah. Whip that beetle bog. Come on, sick of planets. Bzz. Um, and I guess just for the sake of doing stuff, <laughs> just poon him. Just poon him. <laughs> cool. I look forward to Tom being VR king. Soon. Two. Two. One day. Uh, Pete Trick. It's going to ten dollar. Hey Trick. Tom and Ben, here's some money. Thank you very much. Hey. I'm currently in Spain, training to be an air traffic controller. So having to game vicariously through you and the Battle Boys. Oh. Holy shit. I've heard that's a hard job. I don't know why it's hard. Like, everyone always says it's one of the most stressful jobs in the world, and I don't know enough about it. I thought it would just be like looking at a radar dish and a timetable and going, you can't land yet, there's someone using that runway. I okay, that runway's clear, you're good to land now. I feel like it's because um, if you fuck up... Planes crash. Everyone explodes. Right. Is sort of the... Uh, like in Breaking Bad. Yeah, like in, like in Breaking Bad. Oh, God. A mine auto kills you, right? Uh, yeah. I need the stops. Oh, shit. Like, I wanted to... I think you need to bop that boss out of there. Wow. Yeah, but I've got to push him towards me if I do it. Because otherwise I blow myself up on the mine. Uh, oh, I see. Or you move move whip arms first. But I wanted him to come and... Whip them all. Bop the boss. Him move down. Him move away. Pull that guy, maybe. Uh, we can't have everything we want. I want everything! <laughs> <laughs> Um, he's got three health. Shit. Well, maybe um, put him there. Yeah. Lightning hands. I oh, know lightning hands. Yeah. Yeah. Then. Oh. Bob the rock. <sighs> he kills his friend. Yeah. He goes uh, second, but uh, he does hit him for three damage. Fuck it. Yeah. We lose a little building. Oh, and then Tom, you can lightning hands the scorpion. Oh, and then pull him and into the fire. And then pull him into the fire with Poontank. Poontank nice. gets a kill. <gasps> Poontank. Oh, now we've renamed him Kazar. He's Kazar. Doing, doing the work. Good job, Kazar. You're nailing this. I don't know. Oh, the rock leveled up. Oh, cool. He's now Dwayne. 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 Dwayne Johnson. Johnson. He's leveled up. Much more successful version. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, Ooh, God. God, there's a lot. It's busy, Tom. It's all very busy. And they've all got three life, so no one actually dies. <laughs> uh, I can not... Poop. No, no, if you, um, if, you if you electro whip the guy in the forest, they all take two damage, and the guy in the forest will die from the fire. What, move here? Oh, it doesn't go... Lightning hands doesn't go diagonally. Yeah. But the guy in the, the woods will die. But... It doesn't kill that guy. No. You drop a rock on him. What happens if I rock a city? Ooh. Like, <laughs> break two buildings. <laughs> yeah, don't want to do that. Um, oh. oh, where can rock guy move to? Because you could drop him. I don't know. He. God, he's really safe from rocks, isn't he? That. Man, boss. Poon Tank does need more moves. Yeah. Uh, he's good at blocking. He can take hits. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, God, but if we don't kill some of these guys, we, we die. We're going to lose so many so many towns. I mean, yeah, Whip Arms can block shots with his body. Poon Tank can block with his body. Like, do that. We kill some guys. Uh, drop a rock on something. You could drop a rock on a spawn point just to reduce the incoming. Yeah. I guess that guy, he's all three attacks to just smash one, one thing. Building. Yeah. Uh, although I don't actually save. Oh, I could move there. Oh, yeah. Drop a rock in, in front. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why would I do that when I could... Um, drop a rock on him. Do that. Oh, yeah. That works. And 
Oh, Blammo. And then actually, I could... You don't really want to Well, I, I don't want to save Fire Guy. No, but you do want to move Poon Tank to follow that boss. So wherever he goes, maybe he can pull the boss away from you. Yeah, that Next looks... Turn. Fix yourself? I oh, know you might get cool. That looks okay. Yeah. Hey. Hey! Oh, fucking hey. resisted! Boom! Take that, you little scorpion bitch. Son of a bitch! Uh, Help us, Blitzkrieg! Yeah, we'll do our best. <laughs> oh, God. How many chance do they have? Oh, they've all got three S. We need to get the um, Electro Whips. Upgraded. Upgraded. Mm. If we drop a rock on one... Does that help? Well, we can rock and whip, kill one. So he needs to get pulled. Yeah, you can just prune him into the fire. Yeah. Bam. Now you need to block the other guy's shot. He's going to do one damage. Oh, God. They're all going to do one each. Oh. No, that doesn't help us. Oh, uh... Oh, no, here we go. Perfect. Right. Check this out. Yeah. Bish bash boss. Electrodes. You are going to come up. Rock. Oh, fuck. It killed the rock. Yeah, the electro whips killed the rock. <sighs> okay, right. Start this game. We've still got the reset. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, then you are going to... Hey. You do that. We lose A building. Yeah. And then... Um, and poon, poon into the fire. Poon. That way we save most of it. Cool. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe. Uh... No. Ah! I think we need to start doing some um, regain energy missions, don't we? Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to take a break in a sec. Um, let's just do some donations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yet another gaming field donated again. This is coming to Bristol on uh, some dates that I won't read out. Um, I say Dr. Dr. <laughs> He wants me to do. Uh, did you read that? No. He's, he's suggested a movie. But, okay. Uh, okay. Don't don't read any more of these. They've all got movies. Um, I'll go through them after the break. Or well, do you want to do them during the break? If people want to subscribe, do you actually want to go I'm, take a break? I want to go and party in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna have a little snow party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna take five minutes. Um, I'm gonna get a drink, and you're gonna have a little smoky, and we'll see you in five. Bye.
Welcome we're back. back. We're we're here. We we're, we're still trying to save the world, kind of. We're doing our best, yeah. but it's really hard. Turns out hard mode is hard. <laughs> hard mode is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they warn us, Tom? Oh, fuck. Um, Can we should we get the game up? Yeah, we're ready. What's the mission? Ooh, ah, there it is. Lots of ice. It's like crystal to... right there. Oh, it's icy. We got to defend the corporate tower, and they will give us the goodies. God. Oh, that water in the middle is going to be a eyeball like A beach. But maybe it'll give Poontank something fun to do. I hope so. Let's uh, put Poontank there. But Poontank can't fire from water. No, no, um, on the, the bit of land where you were hovering over before. No, 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 there. Here. There, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when you're pointing at your monitor, it's hard, you can't to, see um, that, <laughs> hard you? to know what, what's going on. <laughs> and this guy, he's just going to oh. sit on the back line, I reckon, for now. We'll just do our best. We'll see how it goes. This is going to be tough. I have low hopes. So what was your favorite Pacific Rim map? Oh, I liked, um, I liked the, uh, the Russian one. Yeah, the big like, clunky one. Like, he's the only Mark II still in operation. <laughs> yeah. He's really outdated, like, but those Russians build him tough. Like, and that one with like, the giant like, mega fist. Like, he's got like, the rocket-powered mm. fist. Like fuck that, that design. Was, yeah, I wanted to see more of. Do you want to say I wanted to see more of most of them? Yeah. Except for the two that we saw loads of. Yeah. That were just yeah. like quite generic looking. Yeah. Also, like, what, how come? No, you know, I'm not not trying to chill on Australia at all. But how come they had the best mech? Theirs was just head yeah. and shoulders better than all the others. It was like way more advanced for some reason, wasn't it? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, we kill that guy. That's cool. Oh, kill the buff mo buff machine. Uh, I feel oh, he has two everywhere, so I don't really oh. want to be whipping him too much. Uh, oh, wait! If he goes you can, there, you and can whips whip him and then, and then poon pull him. him. Yeah, whip then poon. Are you gonna hit? Are you hitting the building as well? Does that hit? Oh no, no, no! Self. It's because I don't have him selected. Ah. Oh, he's waterlogged. Oh, undo, undo, abort. Yeah, fuck. Mm. Oh no, but look, you can stand on the ice. Oh no, that's. But then work. I get blasted for two. How much help? We need to pound that scorpion though. Yeah. Like, Ooh, that's healthy. one of the objectives is to kill it. And it's really, really tough. I could pull him to like here. Oh no, no, I have to, I have to be there. And pull him. Uh, can you set that forest on fire somehow? Oh, I don't 
don't know if that's how it works. Oh, we, we've got um, lightning punch, don't we? We went for the movement instead. Oh, we did. I think this is our best bet. Why? Don't leave that mech stood there. But don't we want to pull him and then lightning him? Oh, and then just take the two damage. Yeah, yeah, we can fix it. We can repair if we need to. Don't uh, get sunken planets killed, though. Our boy. Oh, we do. Shit. Okay, this oh, might he's be on bad. fire. Yeah, being on fire is always good. Lightning has set him on fire. Oh, oh shit, we forgot about that. The pushback. <laughs> well, uh, not the pushback, but I forgot that he was going to get hit. Um. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, there's so many of them, Tom. What are we going to do? Ooh, only does three damage. Oh, jeez. Can we rock him? Can we rock his world? Rock and punch? I was kind of thinking of using... Kapoon tank, we can just run away from the brain bug this turn and let it burn. But I was thinking, like, maybe rock there and get him in the water. Oh, he's immune to water. Oh, fuck. God, man, that's good. Oh, he's... Oh, he's webbed, though. Although Shit. if we whip him... Oh, but then we die. Yeah. Oh, no, this is I mean, Poon Tank can fix himself. And then heal a damage, take a damage. But doesn't that... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that three damage beetle needs to... Well, um, but the problem is that... Push one of them away, but he if we take if we lose two buildings we die. Uh, oh oh this is just, just over already. Really? Oh my god. Um holy shit. We can't we can't I don't think we can do this unless we just get lucky on the grid defense. Yeah, because the rock doesn't even block. Uh can't come up enough to push. If we kill Beetle Boy, the um, the, the boss beetle, yeah, no, no, the, the 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 artillery beetle, because mm -hmm. that basically every time they attack the buildings, we have an eighteen percent chance of shielding it. Yeah. So it's better to take lots of small attacks right. than one big attack. Okay. Yeah. So we could lob a rock on Beetle and then walk up and whip him, kill the beetle. him rock him yeah rock him sock him robot wait oh we can't get far enough hmm he can't get in and around here anywhere to push him sideways no okay so we're relying purely on on the so we've got like a 40% chance to live yeah uh, Basically, for one more turn. <laughs> yeah. It's not ideal. I'll agree. <laughs> yeah, because if we survive this, then we definitely die next turn. <laughs> we'll have four <laughs> bugs attacking us. <laughs> Shit. What's the rage like? Hard's too hard. We're, not, we're too new at this, Tom. Yeah. yeah I thought hard was going to be gonna be cool. There we dead. Oh. If you can go back in time, do it now! <sighs> Plus three grid defense. Oh, so we had 18% chance, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we want this guy. I don't think the plus three grid defense is a great skill. Plus one mech move. Plus one move's pretty good. We're doing it. I'm sorry, Sunken Planets. We've now got this person. You ditched. Your old bad skill, Sunken Planets. Uh, what are they called? Do you know um, who, who hasn't had a name yet? Uh, Nonesk. Uh, Nonesk. Perfect. Um, okay. I'm, um, I'm going to 
explain some films now. We have this game, if you just joined us after the break, um, we have a game where I have to explain a film, and everything I say has to be true, but I have to make it as hard as possible for Tom to guess what the film is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know Apparently why, it's the system. Wh why we invented that game, but we did. Um, so, um, I don't know if I remember the plot well enough. <laughs> so, um, there's a man who has to travel, and um, the, the journey doesn't go very well, and he is forced to uh, manage the crisis as everyone's in trouble. Is, um, it, is it speed? No, it's not speed. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> um, he he meets many people. One of them has a drinking problem. Um, the uh, the driver of the transport is um, has a um, is a paedophile. And there's a nun <laughs> <laughs> who accidentally <laughs> nearly kills a child. Fuck me. <laughs> um. <laughs> Quite a collection of characters. Yeah. <laughs> all trapped uh, together. Uh, oh my god. I'm, 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 uh, you, need, you need to keep going. I'm a bit like, <laughs> okay. I'm a bit fucking just <laughs> at a loss here right now. <laughs> it's harder to do when you're also playing the game, I'll admit. Um, what else happens? Um, they yeah, try yeah. to use an inflatable man to save them, but it doesn't work. So uh, the, the man with the drinking problem has to uh, overcome his fears to, uh, to save the day. They try to use an inflatable man, <laughs> guy with a drinking <laughs> problem, they're on a trip, someone's a nun. I don't know, I feel like these details are... They're creating more clouds in my mind <laughs> than um, uh, anything else. Um, uh, um, when the inflatable man doesn't work, they have to give him a blowjob. <laughs> and although that doesn't solve the problem, it does make him happy. Are you using like abstract terms for <laughs> things that are going on? Because uh, still, no idea. Um, the man with the drinking problem has a has a flashback to I think he there was a basketball tournament. <laughs> You might not have seen this film. That's the problem. Here. I have, I have n zero idea what is going on right now. Um, I think the important thing to remember is the, the pilot is a paedophile. Is the pilot Kevin Spacey? <laughs> <laughs> that's like I think that's just like in my head at the moment. Oh, it's Conair. <laughs> oh my god, it's not Conair. Fuck, it's Conair. <laughs> I wish it was. It's Aeroplane! Oh. Oh, shit. Do you oh remember my with God. Leslie Nielsen? Yeah. The pilot was a Peter. Man, okay, fuck. I've not seen that kid, that film since I was oh, a kid. Oh, do you remember that scene where um, he invites like the little kid into the cockpit to... Um, he was like, oh, do you want to come see the cockpit, little Jimmy? And he sits down and he's like, do you like it in this cockpit, Jimmy? Do you ever, do you ever watch wrestling, Jimmy? Do you ever like it when two grown men grapple each other? You ever watched, like, ancient Romans, Jimmy? <laughs> it's just like, it gets really weird. I've, I've, I do not remember that at all. Wow. Okay, yeah, bam. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised they didn't, didn't get it. We're fucked. We're fucked already. Why it's, are they all gangbanging the power plant? Are you playing on decided. hard again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Why do we have to keep playing on hard? Because we're cool. It's cool too hard for us. Um... um no, you can't just boulder one out of the way and, and poon the other one. Mm, I can. But... It doesn't feel ideal. Because you're not doing any damage. Yeah, and then yeah. next time it's going to be just much worse. That, I think that 
the, the fault here is with the team we've got. Yeah, that might be Lightning it. Squad is not the best squad. Kill the one you can kill, I guess. Yeah. They just, they're not killy enough. They're too push me pull you. Yeah, I was really drawn in by when it said like massive damage, the Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg unit. And it's that they're not massive damage. This guy, sure, he can hit hard, but no one else can. And if he gets webbed again, he's fucked. Yeah. yeah. He's fine. Oh, wait, is he fine? God damn it. God damn it. Um, okay, right. This guy's, this guy's not doing anything good this turn. No, if Poon Tank gets webbed, he is literally worthless. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, ooh, <laughs> Poon Tank. Okay. No good. Um, well, you can rock push again. I think the problem here is all our guys do two damage, and all their guys have three health. Yeah. That, this is the problem. So we either need to turn the difficulty down so they have less health, or pick a squad that at least someone does three damage per hit. Oh, both rocks exploded. Oh, double rock KO. And he has to come here and do that. Uh, poon, poon tank. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on. At least he can take the hit. Yeah, I guess. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> poon tank. Um, I loved him, but now, now I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, it was the last turn anyway. Oh shit, that's fine. You did it! Yeah, kind of. Ugh. And we got a pod. Oh, it's in the pod. Yeah, cool. Nice. Oh, man. Well, if you think you guys can do Into the Breach better than us, now's your chance! <laughs> you yeah, can, yeah. You can hit the link that should be spammed in chat, but I haven't seen it come up for a while. Um, where if you click the link and you buy it from GOG.com, you get FTL for free. For as free. well as this game. And uh, we get a kickback because the God guys like us and they're very nice. Bam, that's cool. Win win. We win. You win. They win. Everyone wins. Everyone's a winner We're apart from Lightning Squad. Apart from Lightning Squad, who are not. <laughs> who are not the win team. They're not the super winners, huh? Uh, yeah. Cool. Like this. Okay. Did you have another movie? Uh, yeah, we got another, so that was yet another gaming gaming fails. Um, then we've got uh, No Nesk, who has donated. Uh, he says he loves Book Wars. Thank you. Oh man, Book Wars. Thanks, man. Um, oh, how do I do this one without giving the game away? Oh shit! Little tank, flee! Oh, we can't flee. Uh, can he not move at all? Can they just shoot? Oh no, no, no! They're inactive at the moment. Because they cut, they're not on your sidebar. Because I mean, they fucking kill him. <laughs> oh, oh, tank bot. Will oh, he... unless I boulder him, right? That could work. Oh, but then he hits the fucking city. That guy is a city shooter. What? No, he'll hit the rock. No, if I, I was thinking, if I rock that guy. Yeah. But then that pushes him one over because he's currently targeting him, and then it goes on to the city. No, 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 he'll hit the mountain. Can't shoot over mountains. Oh shit! I was thinking he was an, uh, an over-the-head boy. Um, and then you kill him. You still can't electro whip him because of because of little tank boy. Let's do that. Enter. Okay, so what's your um, your new, new choice? A con man um, assembles team. Avengers. No. It forms a group to to do a heist. Ocean's Eleven. No. Um, and. He has to ask an old professor for help and recruits a young child. <laughs> um, on the heist, someone has to pee and ruins everything. 
and then um, things get get worse. <laughs> um, what, what else happens in that movie? Yeah, they have to do a heist on a, on a plane. Someone needs to piss, so everyone gets caught. And then um, someone falls falls too deep, and they all have to go after him. Uh, is it like Inception? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, oh man, that was a... A tough one. It's really hard to describe Inception because almost everything about that film obviously makes it out to be Inception. Yeah. Oh man, you did it though. That's good. Um. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, Atomic Snow Globe was donated and they've given them. I don't know why. I always call her she because in Alex's gang, one of Alex's gangs named after Atomic Snow Globe. Yeah. And they're all girls. So, you um, just so now I just assumed I just assumed their gender. Oh. Um, so they've got one for you, and they, um, and it says some kids play this game and then don't play it again. Then some other Jumanji. kids play it later, and the first kids play it again. Jumanji. Yeah. Jumanji. Jumanji. It's, it's one of your favourite films, though, right? Well, I like I like Jumanji. I wouldn't say it's one of my favourites. No, but it's, it's got its charms. You you do enjoy Jumanji. Have you seen the new one? Uh, no. Have you no interest in it? I'd, I'd <laughs> I don't know. Like I'd, I'd watch it, you know. I'd, I'd watch it, but I'm not super hyped by any means. Um, yeah, don't don't care enough. I don't think. Um, oh, little tank, little tank friend. Dude, this is this is fucking hard, man. This is fucking hard. It looks hard. It's making me hard. It's embarrassing when the tanks do more for you than your own guys. <laughs> uh, oh shit! Now he can't help. Fucking poon tank! I Damn you, poon tank! Have to stop him. Poon tank. <laughs> You dungus. Uh, and I could sacrifice this poon tank to kill a dude, but fuck, that doesn't help, does it? I throw in a boulder. Okay, I'm gonna restart this turn. This this is going horribly. This is this is not. Yeah. Uh, does do the movie riddles help? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, should I keep it? Will that make you play better? I think I think the movie riddles are definitely definitely doing. Doing me good. Um, uh, I need to I need to look up this film. I can't remember enough about it. Uh, I'm losing my mind. Oh. gonna have to lose lose a little tank I think oh wow I do not remember enough sorry to uh, Canty I cannot explain this film <laughs> I've seen it but it's too hard because I only remember one thing about it did you ever see Krull Krull yeah no oh I'm really glad I didn't go to the effort of trying to explain the film Krull then really shit it's an old 80s Fantasy film. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I've never, I've never seen it. It's pretty bad. I think I'm just gonna fucking kill, kill You're our. You're gonna kill tank, tank friend. Oh, you I... monster. Well, he dies regardless. Look on you. you could, you could rock lob. No, I had to rock lob to be able to pull uh, off other stuff. Okay. Because I want to save that building. Yeah. Death I'm sorry, tank friend. Tank. Um. Did you have fired with him before he died? I could have done. <laughs> but I didn't, well, so didn't. fuck it. Fuck him. Rip. 
Fucking little tank. Ripperino. There. There. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Oh, he's soaking up all the damage. If they both only deal one each, then he'll be fine. Yeah, also... Oh, I thought something was coming up there. Um, oh, no, that was if you pooned. Uh, well, how I much? could kill these guys off. Yeah, do it. Um, this has gone pretty well, actually. I know no, you lost a little tank friend, but... Yeah, I lost a little tank friend. I didn't lose both. Yeah, so one That's of them... That's all that matters. Just, uh, um, also, fuck, little tank friend, you could go and get a kill if you want. Yeah, do it for the XP. Although, this guy... Uh, are we going to get... I'm going to repair just yeah, in case. Yeah, be on the safe side. <laughs> I was thinking of doing silliness, but... Lamb. Okay, we saved half of the um, tank tank division. Cool. Fucking, fucking nailed it. Do you have, like, more? Uh, yeah, there's so many more. I'm just trying to think now. They're all quite... They're picking unique movies, which makes it quite difficult. Um... You know, you don't have to be as like ridiculously um <laughs> I know, but if like, I just abstract with them. <laughs> That's the point of the game. I think you know, you can make it hard without destroying okay. the dam. A man investigates the murder of his wife. Um but people tell him things he doesn't want to hear. So he chooses to ignore his friend's advice and continue investigating, even though everyone tells him to stop. This sounds sounds like a film. <laughs> it sure is a film. <laughs> but I'm a bit a bit lost again. Um what else can I say? Everyone gets annoyed with having to repeat themselves because he oh, won't listen. Oh, like Memento. Yay! Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that makes so sense. So if you break, if he break the dam, everything directly in front of the dam dies. Really? Or yeah. just these two squares? No, no, no. The whole strip. Oh, really? Yeah. Do I die? No. That, that's even better. <laughs> yeah. So just like drop a rock on the dam or something. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Sploosh! Oh, oh, oh yeah. shit. Fuck shit. this noise. I, had... I forgot flying stuff doesn't die and he makes them explode. Uh, so this guy, he should probably come and whip them or... No, he can't move at the moment. He's... Oh, you're right. He's a tangle. He's tangled. He's a tangle. Oh, fuck it. I mean, taking damage isn't the end of the world. Should we get Rock Boy? Let him take damage? Well, if the enemy pop up in the water, do they die immediately? Oh, I don't know. Let's find out. Sploosh! Meowie. Uh. Oh, if he kills him. Oh, fuck. Uh, right, you come here and poon him. Uh, <laughs> but I could kill him. <laughs> and you are, and Rockbot. Everyone. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, this has gone terribly. I'm going to use my reset. Well, just heal, move and heal. You don't have to attack this turn. Yeah. Shit. Man, lightning mech is a liability, isn't he? With the old, yeah. old flailing those whips around like a maniac. Yeah, it feels like more times, more often than not, he's he's killing himself, <laughs> or yeah. like killing his friends. Oh shit, uh. we literally can't can't stop that guy. So that was Porachaz's donation. Um, he he won Memento. That was a good one. Poon Tank has donated. Hey, Poon Tank. <laughs> Thanks, Poon Tank. Uh, he says um, a film where um, a group of people are trapped together and. Um, have to work together to escape. Oh, that was good. That was nice. satisfying. Nice. Um, and you're going to come up here. 
because yeah, I don't, I don't want shooty boys to be just plinking me. Good stuff. A group of people are trapped together. They have to work together. Yeah, to escape. Um, they're Canadian. And... Um, uh, they, they, they can't trust. They don't trust ever, anyone. Trust nobody. And... There's shapes involved. The sh shapes involved and they don't trust <laughs> anybody. Uh, um. I haven't seen this film. <laughs> but I've seen the trailer. Oh wow, super bump, bumpy town for everyone. Oh, is Pink Tank done? Oh, yeah, yeah, he had to do that to pull off that maneuver. But that guy dies to a, a, a little climbing uppy boy. Nice. That's my favorite thing in this game, is making the, um, moving the enemy onto a spawn point. Yeah, getting them to blast themselves. Such like a double win. Uh, you really need to push that. Bug. Oh, he doesn't actually move. No. That's a solid wall, and that's a boss. Can you? Oh. Not without smashing a building. How many health does he have? Oh, you can. Um... Oh, you can't whip him though because of the water. Yeah. Fuck. What about that bug that's in the way of Poon Tank? If you kill that, then Poon Tank can maybe move. How fast is Poon Tank? He can get up to here, top, oh, so I can... Oh, shit. Three spaces. Fuck. We literally can't stop him, can we? Do we just die here? Oh, okay. We could do the honorable sacrifice and push oh. him back, and that saves two of the buildings. Yeah, kill two of our own buildings to stop him killing four of them. Yeah? It's these kind of hard decisions that we're forced to make. Yeah. Oh, that's, the, that's the move. Press oh. F for casualties. If, he, if they had have, like resisted, that would have been so fucking good. <laughs> yeah, it would have been undeserved. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Um, drive along a bit. Go whip him. And uh, Poon Tank can heal, but it doesn't really matter. Well, that's the end. Yeah. Oh, God, man. Oh. Well, it's the right move. You made the tough call, Tom. Yeah. That's why you're in charge of Mech Force. <laughs> exactly. Um, pal. So the, the movie was Cube. Oh, the Cube. Fuck. Oh, shit. I didn't... Uh, it was the, them all being Canadian. That threw me <laughs> off. I was just like, what? Uh, Canadians? Uh, uh, what? Uh, I'm the... How do I put it? Oh, I'm the Green Ranger. Donated forty dollars. Holy shit! That's Holy a lot of shit. dollars. That's that's so many dollars. He he wants to know what the three riddles of the AI keeper are. Not uh, the AI, the VR keeper. You don't want to know the AI's keepers riddles. The, Holy shit. the VR keeper. Yeah. Do you remember I said that like, if you want to play a VR game in the office, you have to. Oh. The three riddles. Of oh, the nice. Keeper. Yeah. Um. He says surely they cannot be on be beyond the skills of Spaceboat King and Tom Not a Battle Boy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Riddle one, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, fucking bugs. Ugh. Stop webbing me. I know, fucking Poon Tank sucks when he's webbed. He's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He can't fucking do anything. And that train. An electro guy is no good at protecting trains. <laughs> he's really bad. Like, <laughs> Oh, this, just never do a train mission with this team. They're the worst team for train yeah, fights. Because they can't even push him away because that pushes him into the train and the train explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I hate fucking Lightning Squad. Let's take a different team. When you I'm, lose, Tom, yeah, I'm, I'm picking a new right team. Now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Shit, I can't even, like, off. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, no, because... You can drop a rock on Poon Tank and push both monsters out of the way. And then Poon Tank can drive off and get that <laughs> Scorpion. Oh, I like that. That is... That is my kind of tactic. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So he pulls, and Whip Boy can go. Whip, whip Boy needs to go. Uh, no, whip, your Whip Boy's gonna have to hit someone else because you don't want to zap your own mechs. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, can you go somewhere else? 
Right, so he has to hit fucking rock. rock um, and just go and kill this guy, because only something's dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh god. Does his tank take fire damage? Yeah, he does. Shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boop boop. Bad. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh. web train. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, lightning arms. You're so bad against when in a train defense. <laughs> yeah, because he could come and he could hit fucking everyone. <laughs> and, yeah. But that doesn't fucking help. So we need to push both webbers. Can train move even though it's webbed? I don't know. But it, well, it's going to get attacked well, by the two scorpions. Smash it. Yeah. So we need to push both the scorpions to defend the train. So I could send a rock here. Oh no, I can't. But Poon Tank's going to die if he doesn't repair. What happens if I fucking just poon the train? I don't think you can. Press, press what? Oh, it pulls me towards it. Oh, that's interesting. Does that apply to like everything? Can you like poon a building and like shoot across the map? Yeah, fucking lightning guy. Does he want to execute? He, he gets a lot of fucking kills. Yeah, but then we get no reward for doing the mission. Yeah, but we don't lose. And he gets loads of experience. <laughs> okay. Like, I don't think we're ever going to be able to do this. <laughs> no. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Drain's tough, but it can't take another hit. Oh. oh my god, did it resist? Apparently. Uh, we can squash one of them with the rock. Yeah, but. Oh, and he doesn't explode. And then. Oh, if we come here. Nice. And then Poontank has to heal. Because he's going to burn to death. Or he can save the train. But then he dies. He's got three of 25 experience. Poontank. <laughs> <laughs> Saving the train. Oh, rip, rip, press F for Poon Tank. Oh, Poon Tank. You tried so hard. Oh, oh he spurred. Oh, you just went <laughs> meh. <laughs> There's no oh. real, like, show there. What? What happened to the train? Oh, I guess because the engine's dead. And oh, now well, they're all just wow. feasting on the car. the super gank. Well, lightning hands again, then, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. Shit. Drop a rock on the one you can kill, yeah. Oh, what a massacre. Ooh. To think I signed up as an archive historian. <laughs> I think I'm more upset about the train dying than the poon tank. Yeah. What a relief. Oh. Fucking hell. <sighs> okay, I'm changing squads. You saw? Lightning Brigade is Liability Deceased. Brigade. Well, we've got the finale. <laughs> but with two health again. <laughs> Think we can do it? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Give me, a, give me another mystery to solve. Okay. <laughs> um, Atomic Snuggle have donated again. Hey. Since how did the last movie go? Pretty good. Here's another one. Um, a hitman who kills guys. Um, who doesn't exist then messes up one day and has to run away to try and find himself. What? To save himself from the bad guys. The hitman, he kills people, he messes up. Kill, he kills people who don't exist yet until he messes up and has to go on the run and find himself. Ooh. Oh, uh, Eraser. <laughs> no, Looper. Looper, yeah, that's it. Bam. Okay. Nailed. Oh man, you got that quicker than I thought. I thought that was going to be a tricky one. Uh, yeah, no, fucking, fucking pro. Meatball skills. donated, 10.99. Thank you very much. He says, Ben's description of aeroplane was amazing. It was simply <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it was pretty good. Aeroplane's was a good, good one because it's just got so many irrelevant but bizarre just facts. Just insane details. Details. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked Why'd up. you keep fucking up, Tom? Oh, wait, no, no, it's fine. Oh, yeah, take the hit on the rock lobber. Push oh, with the rock. but... Uh, what about supercharged bug? You're going to have to poon him. You'll have to poon him! He can't poon him. Oh, poon tank's too slow. Got to reset. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just moved the guy into the wrong fucking place. I meant to go here. Yeah. 
Or does he come up here and like just electrocute him? He does three damage though with the. Um, he's he's the boss bug. He does three damage per attack. Can't Someone really there. stick anyone in front of him. You'll have to rock him. You'll have to rock me. Um, Don't tell the elf. I don't think you rocked him enough. Oh no, the rock stops him. Okay, cool. Wait. Oh. And, and then, then Poon, Poon Tank. Oh, he's really <laughs> fucking. <laughs> he's gonna get webbed. Nobody puts Nothing Poon Tank in the corner. Oh, oh Poon no, wait, tank. they totally do. Oh. Shit, he pushed the rock into the thing. Oh, of course he did. Four more turns. <laughs> <laughs> One more damage and we lose the game. Oh, it's better when they go after the mech, though, isn't it? Yeah, much better. Yeah, yeah, you fucking enjoy Poon Tank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much health has everything got? Way too much. Like, can old lightning hands kill anything? No, because it's all fucking bosses and crazy guys. You can kill that guy. Yeah. So kill that guy, and then rock lob the, the other bug who's about to blow up a building. But if he, but I have to kill Rock Lobber. Yeah, Rock Lobber's gonna die. Unless we put a rock in the way of this guy. But then one of the other buildings dies. There's three turns. <laughs> <laughs> yep. With less stuff. Oh yeah, you're right. Sure. Wait, can we? Oh, okay, right, this, this. Oh, fuck, no, it doesn't work. Oh. Well. Yeah, you can kill him. Sure. Oh. We, I feel like we're just circling. Blammo! Oh, yeah, yeah, none of it worked. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't work! It doesn't, it doesn't work. fucking work! <laughs> right. Okay, you do some move A's. Okay. And um, I will pick a fucking better <laughs> squad than. Those guys. Those guys who are the worst. Um, I'm not picking either of those. Uh, Ninja Muffin has donated and says, finally I have some money, so I'm here to donate to my favourite duo. You could try this movie. Did you read that one? Did you see what it was? No, I stopped reading. Um, uh, there's a guy. He's got a friend. They guy with a friend. Uh, he goes to a party. Um, uh, he meets a girl. Super bad. He... Then his friend is like, you have to come with me. Um, construction workers are coming. <laughs> <laughs> they then get embroiled in bureaucracy as their home is going to be smashed. Oh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nailed it. Oh, that was good. I enjoyed that. Um, a Rekt has donated. I say, I know this is a crazy idea, but... And it's a crazy idea, but still an idea. Mm -hmm. What if you use the Shrek Jazooka like a jihad bomb because it has such a large radius, you blow everyone up? Um, yeah, I'm really surprised no one's tried that yet. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about like adding the jihad bomb back in. Yeah, because um, the Shrek Jazooka gives you no warning. It's like a bit, bit bullshit if you use it like that. Yeah. I was, I'm amazed no one's tried to do it that, actually. I guess like you do have to like pull it out, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, man, that's a good idea. Yeah, I like it. Um, All right, I'm going with the old Classico squad. Oh, okay, Zephyr Pods Argosians donated mm -hmm. squad. And oh, Rhythian's in chat. Rhythian's here. Hey, Rhythian. Ben didn't notice me. Wow, that's a bit of like a I think false statement to, <laughs> to read out as the one that we noticed. Um, I guess Rhythian did it, but maybe I wasn't there when he did it. I might have been on a different part of the map, so I didn't see it. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Shit, we've got a problem. This guy's making all the bad guys explode when they die. Nice. And they're all huddled around the building, so I don't want to kill them because it's going to blow the buildings up. Is this normal mode? Or hard no, mode? it's still on hard. Can you not shoot him? Or go and um, punch him? I could punch him. And then then I have to kill two Then bugs. arty them. Yeah. Maybe. Dump. Oh. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm dumb. Okay, and then, um, oh. Oh shit. Aren't you too slow? 
I'm darting my own mech. <laughs> well, oh fuck! I see. This is a whole. This is a whole mess. Because right, now you turn. shoot one into the I fucked the it all thing. up. I <laughs> fucked everything up, Tom. Um. Oh shit! Wait. Do you want to do uh, drive the guy that shoots? Yeah. To there. Yeah, yeah. And shoot the uh, flyboy. Yeah. No! No, Tom! <laughs> what? I just trusted you! I just trusted you! I, I forgot. I, I forgot no! about it. I forgot about it, Ben. I forgot about Fuck it. Fuck's sake. Abandoned time. This is the darkest timeline, this Tom. This is the bad one. The one where I listened to Tom. <laughs> okay, so here's Abort. a movie for you to um, try out. Okay, movie me. Right, so some dudes, they find a ship. <laughs> yeah. And... Ghost uh, ship. They, it's not ghost ship. <laughs> okay. And they're on there, um, and then one of the guys uh, cuts all his skin off and then is impaled on a spike. <laughs> event Horizon. It's Event Horizon. <laughs> that was very specific. It was hard to like... <laughs> well, it's like, if you just say they find a ship, everyone goes mad, There's every, everyone went crazy. Yeah. What's um, wrong with that? I don't know. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh shit! I know how we can. Can we go back? Yeah. Pretend you don't know what it is. <laughs> right. Um, so it is. Um, right. So it is a film that mm -hmm. a lot of people argue is like a 40k movie. Yes. Or like a 20k movie, or whatever the fuck it would be. Yeah. Set like, in the in the same it's universe. Set in Warhammer world. What in not, Nottingham? Not Warhammer world in Nottingham. <laughs> Uh, so Atomic Snowglobe says, damn, you got Jumanji fast. Uh, here's another one. Um, a bunch of ordinary people find themselves in danger as there is an attack. Taking refuge in a public house. Mm -hmm. Sadly, all but two and a half people survive. Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. Nice. That is a very good movie. Um, Enjoy that. Uh, Corners Donation says, are the brothers Doomborn going to play Warhammer Vermintide 2? Um, maybe. We've got the beta. We have. Well, um, everyone should have the beta if they donate it to the Jingle Jam. Bam. Um, yeah, I, I actually I fired it up the other day. Oh yeah, I haven't had a go yet. It's pretty. Ah, oh. there, there is chaos in it. We might bump into the Brothers Doomborn. Oh yeah. Or should we role play it as the Brothers Doomborn? Ooh, what working with them? Uh, just fighting them. Yeah. Doom, well, yeah, there's a lot of bit fighting in chaos. Yeah. Um, Get them confirmed. I like. Uh, I was playing as the Witch Hunter. And he's got quite a fun. He fires pistols as his oh, like, yeah. ranged weapon, but like he has a pistol and he shoots, mm -hmm. and then just instantly pulls another one and just keeps doing that. Oh so, like, shit! That he's got, like, <laughs> just festooned. Yeah, yeah, like uh, just like fifty fucking pistols and just oh, like just throws them away afterwards. That is, yeah. <laughs> it's just like Reaper in Overwatch, isn't it? Is that what Reaper does? When he reloads his his like shotgun pistols. He just chucks them and pulls a new one out. Oh, shit. And he never picks the old ones up. Oh, fuck. Wow. <laughs> so. Bam. You want to be his, like, pistol supplier. <laughs> Do you reckon they just didn't tell him that you could reload guns? Oh, so you thought they were like, yeah. but he calls them burners. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't reload them. You just want to, just got to use it, you know, just throw it away. Fire not and forget. It. it is. To be honest, it's not worth reloading them, you know. The, the, you know, the expense of that mechanism. You Don't basically, bother with it. You basically you buy the bullets, you get the gun for free, mate. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> Who buys ink cartridges? You just buy yourself a new cheap printer. That's <laughs> yeah. cheaper than the ink cartridge. Boom, you do it the same with these guns. Logic. So that's why I buy 10,000 from us now. Uh, Atomic Snowglade has a new a new one. Man, we've got some more like some oh, yeah. good ones. Man, she's, she's a good machine. So here's one more. Um, a psychologist takes on an impossible task of trying to help an insane, very dangerous World War II veteran who believes he is someone else and isn't insane to get away with the fact that he killed his wife. I feel like that's a really easy one, if you've seen this film. Oh, it, the World War II thing threw me because I didn't remember that fact. It's Shutter Island. Yeah, yeah. I forgot he was in World War II, so I was like, what are they talking about? Oh, man, I, w I think I would have gone like a, like a confused detective. Yeah. Uh, is trying to solve a case. There's the, a mystery in his path over his, like, you know, murdered wife. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could dress Shutter Island up, like, really obscurely. Really spin the tail on that one. Uh, also, uh, spoilers, if you've not seen it. Um, but <laughs> yeah. fucking great film. Man, I really like Shutter yeah, Island. Yeah, that was good. Um, 
But he discovers more than he bargained for. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, okay. This is one. No, no peeping. No peepers. Um, a guy and his friend mm -hmm. have to help a couple get together. Um, his life depends on it. Uh, they drive around in a car a lot. They, um, Ooh, there's uh, like a high school bully. The guy that he's trying to help get together is like a bit of a nerd, and um, the the bully like picks on him. And the guy, the the guy and his friends, they need to, they need to like you know stop the bully, get these two people together. Um, otherwise, it's all over for him. I have no idea. The uh, the um, his friend is like I don't know like his like science teacher or something. <laughs> There's loads of like 1950s music in it. Um. Oh. Um, Back to the Future. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh was... yeah. Actually, that, you can make that. That is hard. If you just leave time travel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, didn't want to say, like, it's his parents, because instantly <laughs> yeah. you, you get it. But but just just getting it, man. Also, yeah, I don't think he is, a, like, a science teacher. His no. science teacher. But he's I, a science teacher. Oh, man. I, I, I fucked this, Tom. Oh, no. I fucked it too much. Uh, SST underscore two underscore O has donated 30 buckaroos. Holy shit, thank you. And says, grab a drink. I know some Civ 6 DLC and have your way with him. Whoa. Uh, oh, let Ben have an auto resolve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I should feel like I fight so many more battles than you do in Total War. Holy shit. I, but I think it's because I'm more likely to fight like an even battle than you. I think I, I'm more like, I get bored of the campaign map. Yeah, whereas I'm, well. I'm the opposite. You like the campaign I map. I like the campaign map, because that's where I win, Tom. And yeah, yeah, and whereas uh, battles are usually where I do, do better. And like a 50-50, or even like something that's a little bit, or if there's just fun units involved. No, oh, that's true. Oof, we just haven't like, had a battle for a while. Yeah, I'm just like, boom, let's do it. Look, we got this guy. Harold Schmidt, he's that push, guy. <laughs> just some old bloke in a pod. We found him, and oh, he says, it's me, Harold me. Schmidt. <laughs> I like to push things. Okay. Good job. Oh, what's that? Oh, Harry. he gets to push when he's repairing. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Let's put him in the um, in the tank. Yeah, a little tank. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, lovingly always, you're Doomborn 07. Aw, oh, 07, uh, SST. Oh, okay, I've not seen this film. But we can try it out if you've seen it. Um, don't know. Two guys shoot hoops and get girls after winning the national championships to keep their inheritance. Keep their inheritance. Oh shit! Oh sorry, I read that completely, completely <laughs> wrong. But okay, I have seen this. I just, uh, you know, when you just like skim something <laughs> and then read it completely wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. Um. They. Uh, they learn this the game in um, their back garden. Is is the old stuff null now? No, that stuff's all true. Okay. Um, it's very fucking vague, though. I don't know many basketball films. Um, uh, That's a tricky one. Um, white men can't jump. No. The game... Uh, basketball. It's basketball. <laughs> right. We're just thinking of two sports the, films. The only basketball films I could name. Well, it's they not really it. a basketball film. It's They play basketball. They play basketball. This is true. Um, okay, right. Atomic Snowglow's got another one. Last oh. movie from me, guys. This is a hard one. I've not seen this film. Oh, can you, have you, do you know enough about it to give it a good try? Well, Tom and Snowglobe's put their end description in, so that's fine. Oh, okay, cool. Um, a normal guy has a friend who cuts his grass and loses 
Hoz Fingers. I think that's his fingers. Oh, it's um, Lawn Mower Man. So the guy has to pretend to have special needs so that his uncle can win a bet and get money to glue the fingers back on. Oh. Kingpin. That's not what we have here. What is it? It's The Ringer. Oh, I haven't seen The Ringer. I've not even heard of The Ringer. I think that's... Um, who's the guy who was in Jackass? Johnny Knoxville. I think it was one of his films. Okay. Bam. I have not... I've not seen. Oh, oh, okay. This, this is, this is one. This is a good one. Okay. Right. Uh, so this is from uh, Magnus. Thank you, Magnus, for giving a suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, right. A through um, like an administrative error, a guy becomes a, a sort of a fugitive from the law. Hmm. Uh, a woman has a facelift and she dies from it. Uh. Uh, Super Mario saves the day. <laughs> <laughs> I could not tell you a single thing about the Super Mario movie, except that it had nothing to do with Super Mario. It's not Super Mario isn't in this, but oh. he's kind of in this. <laughs> He isn't, he isn't Super Mario. Okay, so it's not actually the Super Mario film. But... But he, it's Bob Hoskins. <laughs> it's what you're trying to also, say. Also, Bob Hoskins is a plumber in it. <laughs> so... Uh, oh, I could not... I can't even think of a Bob Hoskins I think, movie right I now. I think the, the main character's little car gets broken. There's unruly kids. Oh. Um... And, uh, um, his best friend works for the government. Um, he meets a girl and they fall in love. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this film. It's Brazil by Terry Gilliam. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I love, fucking love Brazil. Brazil would probably be in my top three films of all really? time. Really? Because a lot of people hate that film. Man, I really like it. Uh, the director's cut, never watch it. It is... Awful. Oh wow. That's because unusual. Normally director's cuts are great. Yeah, but Terry Gilliam's a weird one. He is a weird director. Um, he was like, hmm, I want an extra 15 minutes of dream sequences. When's uh, that ever been good? <laughs> and whoever was in charge was like, no. <laughs> you, you already have 15 minutes of dream sequences. <laughs> That's all you're allowed. And they're really fucking weird. Uh, right. And they kind of don't really add anything to the plot. That's all you can have. And he's like, oh, well, I'm going to do a Wait. director's cut with loads of dream with my, sequences. With all the dream sequences and blackjack and hookers. Uh, and he made it. And fuck, yeah, I watched, watched it. I hated it. I really, it made the film so much worse. Wow. Um, Shit. Uh, Grafutin. Oh, man. Okay. I've not heard of this film. Never we can try it out. Uh... Right, let's see. Let's see what... I'll just read you the IMDb description. A group of friends suffer a yachting accident and take refuge on a cruise drifting on the open sea, but quickly realize they were better off on the upturned yacht. Oh my god, is this like a horror movie? This sounds amazing. Oh. Fancy mystery thriller. Ooh. Oh. I'd watch this. I don't Fuck, although the it. rate is 6.9. That's a bit high for my taste in horror films. It's a bit high for a film I've never heard of that sounds sketchy. Triangle. Triangle. Was it the Bermuda Triangle? Oh, it must be. Yeah, that must be it. That makes sense. <gasps> oh, and I, the cruise ship that's drifting, everyone on it is like dead. It's, and it's going to be haunted. Oh, yeah, there you go. So I know as much about this film as you do <laughs> from reading that. But, but it sounds like you're already on board. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, Man, Tom, I'm I'm just doing so much better than you. Is the, yeah, but this team is easier. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, Because really. every single one of them at least has a push. And the um, damage. And the damage. Yeah, it's a, it's a better squad. Fucking liability brigade. Holy shit. Much harder. I feel like once they get leveled up, they're pretty good. But yeah. getting them leveled up. Jeez. Well, I'm doing the harder my levels. I'm on the desert. 
Um, okay, I've not seen that first movie. Have you ever seen Robot Jocks? Yes, obviously. It's got mechs in it. Oh, I haven't. Have you not seen it? No, never. It's pretty, never pretty 80s. Uh, so this is from Canty. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, oh, so this is my really hazy memory of this film. Right, people in the desert, mm -hmm. they get attacked. People in the desert get attacked. By things from under the ground. Tremors. <laughs> it's Tremors. <laughs> it's Tremors. <laughs> I couldn't remember oh enough about... In Tremors 3, it's not sandworms. It's these fucking butt monsters that fart and fly oh. through farting. That, that, that's a franchise that really lost its way <laughs> quite quickly. Uh, okay, this next one. Oh, fuck, I've, I've, I've not seen this. This is really tough, man. They're, they're going to kill my bombs. I don't think I can stop them. Hey, I'm doing so much better than you, Tom. Hey, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. Uh, an accidental cross-time radio link connects a father and son across 30 years. The son tries to save his father's life, but then must fix the consequences. I've, uh, okay, I have heard of this film, but I haven't seen it. Also, if it helps, it has Dennis Quaid in it. I can't even think of a Dennis Quaid film off the top of my head. What is it? It's called Frequency. Oh, uh, I haven't seen it. Um... Yeah, I think um, we're get, just getting into movies neither of us have seen. It's, yeah. not, it's not super helpful. Uh, but thank you, thank you for the suggestion anyway. Yeah. Um, oh, Zephyrpod Zargosian has got another one. Oh yeah. Uh, oh no, wait. It's just your description of Event Horizon made me laugh out loud in the middle of my parents' living room. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh fuck. How to describe this? Um. I have seen this film. Okay, good. But That's always a good place to start. But fuck me, like I. Uh... So there's like a dude. There's there's a dude there's going a... Bop, bopping around. Boop boop boop. Uh... I am a dude. <laughs> Man, I literally could not. I cannot remember anything about this other than a single scene. Okay. He fights another guy. Ah, that narrows it down. He's got a spear. <laughs> A guy with a spear fights another guy. I think, um, oh, he, uh, he doesn't have a boyfriend. He has a cousin. Uh, what is, sounds Greek. Um, is it Troy? It is Troy. He does have a cousin, doesn't he? Well, they, because... He's that kid who follows him about. But in the history, or the original story or whatever, it's meant to be his boyfriend. Oh. But they changed it to be his cousin so that, that he cares for. And right. they spend a lot of time together. Oh, um, nice. So, yeah, just so the American audience wouldn't like lose their shit that Brad Pitt was gay. Yeah, yeah, because they, they, um, they couldn't allow uh, homosexuality in their wow. Greek, I, Greek thing. I never knew that. That they changed it in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got rid of it. Holy shit. Um, uh, oh, God. Oh, oh God. Okay. I've this, got, I've this, got... this mech squad, man. They're just so good. Yeah, yeah they're, they're so much fucking better. So much better. Fucking Poon Tank. I love Poon Tank, but I hate Poon Tank as well. Yeah, Poon Tank. Not the guy. Uh, okay, here's one. It's from uh, Lithuanian D. Ooh. They say, I've got a good one. So here it is. Oh, uh, right in there. He is a woman and a man. He slash she is mother and father of himself. I'm Mrs. Kidding. Doubtfire. Ooh, I like that, but no. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, God, these level ups are very um, crazy, aren't they? What do you mean? Like, sometimes they level up and gain a reactor. Sometimes they level up and gain plus one movement. Do you know what I mean? Like, the swing on how yeah, useful Yeah, although they're kind are. of not a million miles apart from each other. Like, just the reactor gives you... The reactor's definitely the best one because it's flexible. Hmm. Um, 
Although, wait, go back. You're a guy with plus two move. That's plus two HP. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. Plus HP. Two, that's two HP cool. guy. We've got a um, plus one move guy. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. Like, if you go back onto the mech, the big your main guy. Oh, the punchy guy? Yeah, when you're like, oh, it gave him plus one move, I was like, wait, fuck. Has it, not, has it just, like, ticked that box, or do you get that in addition? Oh, no, like, yeah, I installed the thing. Um, but extra health, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, two hit points actually makes him really, really tough. Uh, defend the terraformer. Terraform oh, the grassland back to the desert. Yeah, the terraformer. Have you not done this? It's crazy powerful. It um it kills everything on one side of it. Oh shit. Okay. Um, I'll show you, man. It's fucking savage. Like it basically doesn't need us to defend it. Also, <laughs> I like that these guys are like. Fuck this grass! We want <laughs> yeah. more desert! More desert! This grass, this filthy grass keeps growing everywhere. It's disgusting. I hate yeah. how gr soft and it doesn't get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they also want pictures of Spider-Man, apparently. Yeah, basically. Uh, so, did you know that film? Uh, what film? Uh, he's a man and a but, woman. Oh, and he's he, not Mrs. Doubtfire. He, she is not Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> right. They're something else. Um, and they're their mother and their father at the same time. Who is their mother and their father at the same time? Uh, no, I don't know. When did it come out? 2014. Sarah Snook is in it. Ethan Hawke's in it. Oh. Tell me more. Like, what's it called? It's called Predestination. No, stop. Uh, like, has that even been... It was, did that go straight to Netflix or something? I <laughs> like, don't know. I think we need films people have heard of. That one's, that one's gone. Uh, oh, Atomic Snow Glow's back. Hey, you said that was the last one. You lied. Uh... Oh, God. Man, so I haven't seen this film, and I've actually been saving it. And a bit of me doesn't want to read, because I already glimpsed the minor spoiler. Oh, it's too late uh, now, man. Commit to the stream. Okay, here's, here's another one. Sorry, I suck at this. No, you're doing great. Um, several travelers are forced to take uh, shelter together in due to inconvenience weather. During their time together, the travelers realize the father of a man they killed is there. Oh. There's a lady. P.S. There's a lady. Uh, they smash a the guitar. Um, start again? So there's some people. Yeah. They're like busting around. Yeah. And um, due to like the weather, they all kind of like uh, take shelter in this place. And they smash a the guitar. Someone swears a lot. You, but you're saying you haven't seen this film? I haven't seen it, but I know enough about it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's a movie that, um, on paper, I would love it. And I've definitely said, this is my kind of thing before. Um, there is... Um, Tricky. Man, fucking Terraform is amazing. <laughs> I know, right? Just... Just put more of these. They're really good. Well, I guess you have to time it because you you have to shoot each direction once, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, to get the objective. Mm. Oh shit! I don't think I can stop this. Why? What's up? There's a bug shooting a building, and did, it's just too far away. Did from Cannon Boy shoot? No, because if he goes in the smoke, he can't shoot. No, your artillery. Uh, yeah, artillery's already been. Shit. Uh, I might have to redo this turn actually. Um, it's snowing outside. They've got... Everyone has a gun. Apart from maybe one person. Uh, I don't know. Tell me, Tom. I give up. I'm no they're, they're cowboys. Snowy cowboys, Ben. Oh, I haven't... If it's Hateful Eight, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either. And I really want to watch it. What? Yeah, that really surprised me because you you like cowboys. And snowy cowboys are. They're your favourite cowboys. Some of the best kind of cowboys. I, I don't think I've ever seen a single snowy cowboy movie. Oh. What, what could you recommend? You're missing out. Um, 
Like, I can't miss many. There's something. There's something that I watched. There was snowy cowboys. And it was fucking amazing. There's a little bit of it in Django. Yeah. I think it's kind of like the. It's just um. Just looks I like good, I like it? cowboys, and you know, because they're often wearing like big like bearskin coats or lots of layers, trudging through snow. But it's the yeah. same sort of thing. Instead of being in the desert, they're in like the snow, and I just like that sort of vibe. Hmm. Uh, cool. But bam. Um, I saw one in chat. Don't look in chat. Um, how about this? There's a, um, a brother who has been sent to jail for being uh, too good at his job. And his other, the other brother... No, hang on. A brother gets sent to jail for being too good at his job. And um, oh, brother, where are he eventually escapes. Escapes from jail. Um, and his... His other brother comes to uh, hunt him down. So he frames his other brother for murder. Face off. He gets sent to jail. But the other brother also escapes jail. And then they have a showdown at the end. The prestige. No. So a brother escapes from prison and he's got a brother that is after him. And then he's the other brother without having names and stuff I kind of yeah it's, okay um what's the way of doing it without pri pri someone escapes from jail and someone comes to hunt him down um, so um but then he escapes from jail then they have a showdown at the end yeah um so basically there's, there's uh, they swap places one brother escapes from jail gets the other brother framed and sent to jail and so uh and then they both escape and have a fight at the end. Uh, one of them has a robot, and the other one has a comedy sidekick. He frames him with DNA evidence. <laughs> gets gets his DNA on a gun. I'm not sure if I, I've, if this sounds just bad enough to be a film, <laughs> <laughs> or if I have actually know it. I mean, no, I feel I feel a bit of fucking loss there. Um, although they are biological twins, they look nothing alike. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm still. Come on, you need, I need um, more clues. You need to like slowly ramp it up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, Ooh. One of them, they're both they're both policemen, and um, the first, well, the one who starts off in jail believes that sometimes you have to break the law in order to preserve it, whereas the uh, the second brother. Um, believes in the law above everything else. Okay. And will never break the law, even if it saves. Do but you... eventually, at the end, he does learn his lesson. Although he has to defeat his brother, he learns that sometimes. Oh, this, have to... this, this feels like I should know it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a robot and a fucking comedy sidekick. Um. Nine, nine minutes to you. I'm still, I'm still fucking dead. I'm just, I feel like a, just an absolute idiot. <laughs> yeah, do you want more clues? More clues. Clue um, me up. Stick uh, this guy in a drink. I, I saw just a moment of chat and just a single line saying, Tom's going to hate himself. <laughs> yeah. Man. Okay, they're cops. Um, right, fuck. So, um, they're cops. They're cops. Um, and they're brothers? Yeah, and the uh, the guy who gets set up with the fake DNA evidence has to get his um, his rookie partner to defend him at trial. <laughs> and um, the, ju the, uh, the judge who's going to sentence him for the framed murder um, instead chooses to, um, to quit his job <laughs> to save the cop from being executed and only gets sent to jail instead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. 
<laughs> Does that make sense? I follow what you're saying, but it's still just like... It's still just total nonsense. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit the bed. <laughs> Fucking well played. I think because the, that movie is so expunged from my mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh. If you if you haven't guessed it at home, it's Judge Dredd. It's fucking Judge Dredd. It's the surely. Stallone Judge Dredd movie. Oh fuck. It's so bad. Oh. <laughs> but that's the longest I've made Tom think about that movie. In oh a long my time. god! Holy shit! Wow. Man, fucking, fucking GG. That was amazing. Oh. Uh, that was the only. Yeah, fuck me. Wow, <laughs> good fucking job. Um, shit, we've got a few more, so we're gonna have to like fucking quick fire these because we only have a few minutes left. Okay, but also I feel like I'm in a really rough position. I don't know how to how to beat this boss here. That's gonna just like rinse through me. I can't figure out a way to push him. What way is he shooting that way? He's going that way. Um. <clears throat> So if I move the tank out of the way, I can artillery him forwards and then tank him down. Um, Wait. Uh, you can't make that shot with the artillery. No. Oh, I can just kill him. Can you? Oh. Yeah, do that. Oh. To move the tank. Wait, um, fuck, do you just do the thing? Artillery the building and just push him one square away from. Oh no, then he hits your HQ. Hits HQ. Oh, but then, uh. Oh, fuck. Flat him now. Attack cancelled? Oh, but smoke! Oh, fuck, perfect. That's it. That's uh, what you need. Okay, problem so anyone solved. could have. Literally anyone could have done that. <laughs> I didn't realise he was stood in sand that would turn into smoke. Oh, perfect. Job done. Boop, boop, boop. Punch, punch, punch. Nice. Right, new movie. Uh, Space Guy um, is um, sad about where the Statue of Liberty is. <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Nice. <laughs> Boom. Thank you, Kazar831. Um, Suro his name says, A man running from jail, a woman dating a donkey, flying to the moon, playing <laughs> hockey on an airplane, looking at breast. Hitting old lady. <laughs> never heard of this film. <laughs> oh, he has the answer, but shit. never heard of it. What's the... Come on, go, go, go. Oh, I have no idea. It's called We Fly Even Higher. Oh, I've, I don't know. I've never heard of that. Never. Oh, that's such a shame. I really wanted a Suro one. That would have been so good. Uh, um, okay, next one. Um, oh. Or did you quit? I quit because I didn't want to. I couldn't think about how to spend my money. Oh shit! Okay. Um, but this is a good reminder. Anyone else who wants to play Into the Breach can get it by clicking the link, and uh, you get free FTL, and okay. we get some money too. Uh, there's um, people, and they're covered in wax. House of wax. Yes. <laughs> or as I like to call it, House of Whack. <laughs> right. um, okay, Zephyr Zargosian um, has been mm. again. So no, no peeking. Not peeking. Uh, Private Eye. Uh, who is? Oh, okay, right. A private eye who has been left a uh, racist and jaded drunk after the murder of his brother is hired to clear the name of the biggest actor in town after he is framed for murder. He is aided by the actor's bombshell wife. Oh, nice. This is good, actually. Oh, um, who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, that's really fucking nice. Oh, shit. That's, yeah, if, if it wasn't for the last line of that, I never would have guessed it. Uh, Holy okay. shit, that was a good one. So Yacht, Yacht has donated. No, no, no. I'm no not, peeping. I'm just checking, no my, checking my I'm hair. Like, I'm like scrolling so you can't ever read it. It's my personal defense mechanism. <laughs> right. um, uh, there's a religious see. guy who uh, meets a goblin in a swamp and learns to jump around. Um, goblin in a swamp? Uh, he's got a plane as well. <laughs> of course, yes. His plane's in the swamp. Oh, um, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yacht. 
Uh, Palavers <laughs> donates 30 bucks. Whoa! It doesn't have a film suggestion. Oh, no. Shit. Well, well that's thank okay. you for the But thank you very money. much. Um, okay. Showdown has donated as well and says, okay, so I did the snow globe and broke my indescription. Oh, fuck, I've not seen this film, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cold outside and a girl gets... Oh, shit, no, it said just description. Right, okay, that, that's easier. It's cold outside and a girl gets into a crash and all of her friends die. Then she tries to drive back home. <laughs> <laughs> Is it crash? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, uh, also, I'll add, um, one of her friends was a ghost. <laughs> Maybe. Was he a ghost? I can't remember. I think he was. No <laughs> idea. Uh, when she gets home, she's really happy and safe. <laughs> um, I don't know. Re they used really breakout new uh, filming effects to be able to do this film. Really, really big deal when it came out, like for the visuals. They're in space. I don't know. Uh, George Clooney's in it. Oh, I haven't seen it, but Stellaris. No. <laughs> Gra it's, it's Gravity. Oh, Gravity, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cold outside, gets into a question, all her friends die, and she tries to drive back home. Perfect. Gravity, yeah. Uh, okay, we've got just two left, and then we have to oh, go, because so Brithian's up next. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so next one. Um, uh, Hitman finds his place in the universe after narrowly escaping death on a job with his partner. His partner is not listening to him and gets killed going on another job. Um, uh, first up, finds his place in the universe after narrowly escaping death. Um, that's quite a misleading part. No, is it a Bruce I, Willis film? Yes. I feel like that connects to Bruce Willis. Um, but it isn't. Bruce Willis isn't involved in this. Yeah, Pulp Fiction. It is Pulp Fiction. You fucking nailed it. Holy shit. Bam. Uh, thank you very much for that atomic snow globe. Fucking nailed it. Ben's too good. And then last one. Oh, uh, it's uh, Petrick. And says, yeah, I think Petrick. the idea of uh, air traffic control is outdated. The computer does most of it now. Movie. Ooh. Oh, shit. Um, a controversial film kicks off America going to war. The protagonists must form La Resistance to rescue uh, two movie stars at the end of the war. La Resistance is a real giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> is it a musical? It's musical. <laughs> is it animated? It's animated. It's South Park. It's South Park. <laughs> you fucking nailed it. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> South Park. Uh, bam. Cool, that is all the donations. We oh. finished a uh, level. We did. Um, we completed the first island on Into the Breach. And I say we. It was you. <laughs> it was me with the fucking... <laughs> the, 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 the good squad. The cool, cool guys and <laughs> yeah. better, better skills. Um, cool. Oh. Well, uh, oh, man, chat saying the interview. <laughs> the interview. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's kind of... I like that. Kind of makes like sense. That fits. Um, oh, so well, thanks everyone for watching. Hang around for uh, Fee Zone. Fee Zone. Not Zoe and Fiona. Sorry. Not really. no, no, Sorry. No, 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 no. Zoe and Fiona. Uh, yeah, uh, it's them up now. And they're good to watch them. Uh, so and I think Lewis is I back think next week. Lewis should be back next week. And uh, then he's away for two weeks. And it's me again. And it's Tom and Ben again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, uh, can we just get like a round of applause for Daff? He did oh, so Daff fucking did a great well. job. Daff. And when the sound broke, that was totally our fault. We, d we muted it by mistake in, in the oh, game. Yeah, yeah, we broke that, the sound. We broke it the wasn't sound. Daff. He was trying to fix it, but we, um, we fucking beansed it. So <laughs> <laughs> we had peas right up our nose. <laughs> we sure um, did. I still got one. Bam. Cool. Bye. Bye.